Hello, 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 and welcome to yet another Q&A Thursday right here at the Rag Company podcast YouTube channel. That's right. We wow, are doing that was a questions and answers. That's the way it works every Thursday here at the Q&A. Well, you know, you get it. So anyway, I've got Levi Gates That's on right. my right. That's master right. Master of shine yep. himself. You get it. And then to my left, Anthony Fisher. Dane. Definitely not all day Anthony. Dane, thanks for having me here. You know, just love being here for Q&A Thursdays, love also it. known as Friday Eve. Yes. To be able to answer these detailing questions, right? Mm, Get lost right. in the sauce, right? Happy 420, everybody. Hopefully everybody is enjoying well, today. their oh, holiday God, that is today, as <laughs> needed, right? Oh, no. Whatever you choose to do, we are not judgy. That's not what we nah. do. Have fun, you right? Do you, boo. Get out there, order some yeah. pizza tonight. Maybe mm-hmm. you want to get some wings. Maybe you want to do a little bit of a shopping spree at ragcompany.com. You can do that as well. We are not running a sale today, unfortunately. No. But it's that just a doesn't really mean fun day. It doesn't mean that you can't sign up for the newsletter and potentially get 15% yeah. off or find a Rag Company Grand Ambassador coupon code that exists somewhere mm. out there in mm. the world of Instagram mm. to maybe also save Love yourself it. 15% off. But maybe uh, people buy a bunch of Green Star. Yeah. Oh, maybe, something. right? Mm. All green things, right? Yes. Ooh, we'll that's be, way to do it. They're not on sale or anything. It's yeah. just they're more appealing today, today for some reason. Today, right? Also, so, I'm Dane Hennon, in case we forgot to mention that. Oh, so thanks. Just oh, throw that I, out there. I will Ooh, have that, right? That? Yeah. I got myself a little wow. bit of green as well, right? Cool color. Thank way. you very much. There you go. Let's go ahead and light this candle, shall we? Ooh. With a hold on. Let me go ahead and do Get it. Get in the mic so I can hear He's it. going for Here it. Here we go. Oh, oh that was wow. perfect. One, two, three. One, two, three. <laughs> All click, right, click, everybody. Um, let's go so, ahead and jump into some housekeeping. Uh, yeah. Not a lot. Okay. No. Not too much. Okay. But. You guys are going to be in Chicago next week. Yes, we will. So you're going to be wanting to head on over there and see you guys at the uh, Chicago Auto Bros meet and greet. On the 29th. Yeah. So you guys can, uh, those folks that are listening in Chicago can head over there and see you guys there, you and Anthony and uh, Jimmy. Jimmy. So that'll be cool. Plus a number of other cavalcade of stars. Love it. Cavalcade. Well, I think it'll be a really good time. We're really excited. And again, we are basically less than a week away until me and Dane and Jimmy will make our departure here, um, going to the Windy City of Chicago. It's my first time. I've, I've never, never been. been. Your, yeah. f- your family has uh, been there for over four centuries. Yeah, it's crazy, what? right? Yeah, a lot of Assyrians in a huh. Chicago area. Kind of crazy. Would have never thought. Um, but I'm really hoping to be able to maybe try a little bit of food while I'm there, mm, right? You something, should. something different, right? And um, I don't know if you guys have any recommendations where we will be staying. I mean, it was a meatpacking we'll city, staying. so you got to get some meats while you're there. Oh, yeah. No, I mean, I, I, obviously, Dane. Yeah. You know, I do love myself some good meat. So anyway, we're really excited for that. And uh, this weekend, uh, me and Levi will be doing a training here for the local Porsche Club, yep. um, the Silver Stage Porsche Club, and we'll be doing a training here Saturday morning. It's not open to the public, but just want you guys to know that we are still... Well, it's, it's technically open to the public. Uh, if people want to come, we can't come. stop you. Yeah. But, but you, uh, it you is open. Have a, you should have a Porsche, at least you a should vehicle be a part with, of the with Porsche a Club. Porsche badge <laughs> on Yeah, it. yeah, exactly. Right. So we're going to... We're going to be teaching them how to wash their cars. That's about yeah. it. It's a nice, easy, simple class, and we have a lot of fun with that group. We do. Um, they really do enjoy taking care of their vehicles. And so uh, if you've got a detail shop or something <clears throat> that you're thinking of trying to figure out how to reach uh, that some is more clients, we will tell it. you the Porsche Club of America. Great place to start. They've been it's awesome. a great group of people, yeah. and uh, they're all extremely interested in taking care of their vehicles, and it's very unique. I think a lot of folks go, oh, man, I, I like taking care of my car, too. And then you realize, no, no, you don't. <laughs> Not in the but same the way. But the Porsche Club people, they love taking care of their cars. And yes, so they they've been a really great group of folks, and we love having them here. And so we're excited to have them back. And we're going to show them how to rinse this wash, maybe how to do a little waterless wash. Maybe we'll do some soap. Who knows? We'll see what the party happens and, and what yeah. we get to do. But. I like it. Very fun. So uh, I guess without further ado, let's go ahead and jump into answering Why not? some mm. of these questions, right? And we guys, we're open to any kind of questions, right? Whether it's live questions, shed questions, maybe it's tire questions. You want to gear some towards Dane over there. Car-related uh, questions. Uh, I'm, tire, I'm your man. Hot tire uh, talk. Ta- uh, tire talk. Maybe you want to pick yourself up a truck bed trailer, right? Ooh. Ooh. And you're wanting to maybe That's put a patina Levi's on tire. it. Maybe mm-hmm. throw some linseed oil on it. Maybe you want to seal it with a, some Ooh. type of lacquer clear. Mm. That's what 
I did. Um, you can Chunky. do that as well. Mm-hmm. Uh, we're open for pretty much everything. So uh, starting off with Sheldon. Hey, Sheldon. Lassen saying, TRC crew, ready for <clears> this <throat> one. And that he just got done oh. listening to the podcast right after TRCMA. Loved it. Great job, guys. Thank you very Thank much, you, Sheldon. Sheldon. Yeah, very appreciate happy about Sheldon. that. Then we got Yo Hurl here, Levi. Yo! Hope all is well, <laughs> TRC crew and every eye in the chat. Love it. Nice. And then uh, Alex oh, of course. Dewar. <laughs> Good afternoon from the battery powered lawnmowers of North America chapter. Oh, wow. <laughs> Looking forward to a great show with hot lawnmower detailing tips. Mm. Can't well, wait till Dane gets a part of that, gets to be a part of that team. I and want he's to out there experience so out what there on a life Saturday what morning. What was your previous mowing. mower, Dane? Uh, before that, I did have a. I have a Murray. I had a Murray. Oh, yeah. Okay. A Murray? It's a yeah. very inexpensive. You get that an at Kmart? Old, an old Murray. Was it a K- yeah. was it a Kmart? Kmart? Was it a Kmart? It was it was special? so old. I think a, my dad bought it and passed it down to nice. me back in the early 2000s. Yeah. Yeah. Holy smokes. I need so. to get a I think I want to do a new blade this year. Hmm. I'm also going to be doing a new blade on my, on my Honda this year. But I want to get a I want to get a uh, an actual like proper blade. Something, oh, okay. something nice. I apologize. Yeah. Murray, I Murray was my first one. I had a Toro after that. Mm, okay. So I, I had a Toro so there. Toro, Toro, yeah. Toro's not bad. You know, Toro's a yeah. pretty good brand. No, it, but, it was fine. Um, I'm just tired of having a gas powered one. But it's been years though because you had a previous lawn guy, but yeah. now that you are taking, I guess, pride in home ownership, yes. you are wanting to get into the battery powered world. Very much a fan. And I think with the battery powered thing, I'll be able to just dive right in, not feel bad like, oh, did I remember to put stable well, in there? Here's the fun thing. Here's the fun thing. You've got a six foot tall fence around your grass. Mm-hmm. Yes. So. You don't have to be the. You don't have to worry if no. you miss two weeks, three weeks. No one else yeah. is. No one's gonna see gonna it, see it <laughs> just because you're on the side of a hill. Yeah, I don't hill. No one else. So is gonna no one's see gonna it. go. Hey, that Dane <laughs> Ennin's got a his yeah. grass is getting a little long, making I the neighborhood look bad. Also, am blessed with not having a homeowners association, <laughs> and my neighbors are awesome and not nosy, but very kind people. Well, and your neighbors are um, below you. Uh, there's that. Well, that sounds very well. Elitist. Well, they are. <laughs> well, you they have are. the. Uh, what was he gonna say? The you have high the, ground. You have the high ground, Anakin. Right. <laughs> It's over. You so, were the chosen one. So I will say though, uh, the other night I was at my, I was at my, was in front of my house. I was actually, I think I was picking some weeds or something. Oh. My neighbor crossed the street, right? Oh. I heard this thing start up, right? It sounded like a <clears> turbine <throat> engine. I was oh. like, what is that sound right there, right? He wills this thing out. He just picked it up last week. It's the Ego riding mower. Whoa. What? An Ego, yes. An so Ego, battery powered. Battery powered Ego riding mower. How big is the battery this, on this thing, thing? Like a power wheel? No, probably got six of them. <laughs> it is, I asked, it's six Ego batteries. Yeah. Oh my God. Yeah. And I said, dude, what the heck? And things got LEDs on it. <laughs> and I'm like, that thing's wild. And well, he goes, it costs like three grand? I have no idea. I mean, you think about what riding mowers normally cost. So should we gas call, ones are like three Should grand. we call Ego and see about getting one of those? for us just well, so we can take turns right they're, gonna, they're gonna take one look at the property and go, where's your lawn we go we need to do a detailing video on that mm-hmm. and uh, yeah. we're gonna need it here and mm. then chris metcalf's gonna be like i guys i yeah, can't get can't, you that can't justify that well you know if they make a flex mower maybe yeah. we'll, well no, that's what the, we <laughs> so do it. we yeah. uh so i asked him i said how many batteries he said six batteries um he <clears> says he got it for, so he could start mowing at like nine and ten at night right because it's like yeah it's silent but it has that sounds s- like a jet it sounds like a jet <laughs> when it's like actually the, the okay. blades are spinning yeah. and so i said dude i don't <laughs> I don't even know where to begin with that, but I do want to ride sick. that sometime. He goes, yeah. well, do you want to cut the grass? I said, no, 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 no. <laughs> I just want to ride it. I just want to ride I want to see how much power that thing's got. I mean, but, I'm curious. Some, so is it shaped like a traditional pulls. rider or is it like a zero turn style or like where are they putting it? It's the not batteries? a zero turn. It, it looks like a rider, but it's like it's like an exoskeleton of like what oh. once was a full size riding lawnmower, right? It's like very like, I don't know, kind of futuristic so, looking. I'm wondering if we could literally see about getting one yeah and then making some like well, we code it we make some fun. videos of all of us mowing <clears throat> our lawns with it oh god well I also i'm sure they'd let us do we that. just pass it around like yeah, yeah you take it this week but we got to film it right? <laughs> yeah, yeah so we'll bring course. jimmy around make some really nice cinematics do you want to yeah. get an update though so um the reason why this is so was, su- was such a shock and awe about this thing mm-hmm. right is because not only did he pull out that riding mower that new yeah. riding mower um, I also noticed that my plot of land, right? Yeah. Mm-hmm. My, my, yeah, my unclaimed land, yeah. right? Where 
I had thought about putting gravestones. I had thought oh, about my. camping out there. Yep. I had mm-hmm. thought about opening up a small car wash on that uh-huh. plot of land and all these other things. Um, the sod had been ripped up. Oh, completely what? Rototilled, right? What? Everything gone. So and, somebody's planting something. Who attacked said, your property? And I said, who in their right mind would go over to this place and do some grave digging, you sick people, right? <laughs> yeah. Like, Don't they know I have that that's family your prop- members under there, that's right? That's your property. <laughs> I have a family of birds that I buried oh, over there, right? Yeah, you right. sick people. Yeah, disturbing Actually, their Actually, it turned graves. out it was my neighbor. Oh. He rented a rototiller, and he went and rototilled the whole entire grass because you know what he's doing? Huh. He's planting an entire, like, area of wildflowers. It's a wildflower Aww. garden. But he doesn't water that. Yes, nature he, will water. Well, it. he does technically. I mean, it's hooked up to not his sprinkler system, but it's hooked up to a neighboring things that we tapped into. But anyways, it's fine, right? So, we're, not, we're not too worried about it. But it will be a wildflower garden, and okay. so because well, of that, nice. I don't know what new options I have over grass. So what are you going to do no. with the picnic table and the gazebo that are on there? You tell me, Levi. You can't be in a wildflower garden. Bugs. Yeah. Well, why would you want to be in there? It'll bees. Just, it'll buttress. Yeah. That's the what I, I'll, I'm not excited garden. about the attraction of bees around there, right? Well, the bees you are going to make your bees. they're going to make your garden look much better. Yes, your rock mm. garden. It's, it's going to increase it's your. It's going to look much nicer. Yeah. We'll see about that. I don't the know. The greens will get greener. Anymore. It is 4:20 after all. Okay, we'll Dan we'll Pfeiffer see. here with a good afternoon and a word up from cold and rainy Minnesota, USA. Happy Friday Eve, TRC gang. Looking forward to today's show. What's up, which Dan? Which reminds me of this morning that we thought was going to be sunny for like five seconds and then you turn around and whoa yeah the delicious fog delicious fog yeah darkness snow last night yeah, yeah. it did snow it last night it has not stopped yeah. uh we can't get a break around here <laughs> and so have you guys ever heard a seasonal depression <laughs> alex dewar says Sad. the intro music reminds me of a period correct <laughs> cd from the miata that won't eject <laughs> so you just live with it. it's very and true alex I would, but, <laughs> but hey you know what i do have miles. viva las vegas rockabilly weekend <laughs> sitting in the miata ready to there rock and roll nice. which glenn davis might actually enjoy hey. with a good afternoon he's got the hair everyone. for it. there you go and then we've got uh, i was gonna say glenn <laughs> yes. dennis make sure you reach out to gary from Long what, Island oh, Detail Supply, oh. yeah, yeah, he uh, he wants you wants to meet up if you're in the area. Do it. Yeah. He just he texted he talked to me today. He's like, who's a, is Glenn Dennis living near me? Okay, I said I don't know. I don't so know. I'm just he giving you a heads up. up. <laughs> All right, <laughs> the one who shall remain nameless. Ooh. Happy Friday, kids, from the sunny south coast of Massachusetts. Oh, wow. Out there in Very south. Very nice. It's, it's not really the south. I mean, not, not well, south I mean, it's, San Diego. It's the southern coast of Mass. Is the yeah. one so, who shall remain nameless, is that? That uh, looks like David's truck, isn't it? Or No, it, no is it Tyler not. Coochie? We don't know oh. who shall remain nameless <laughs> I don't actually know who is. is. The mystery will continue. Yeah. We got Eric Beasley from the land <clears throat> of crawfish and Ooh. boils, man. Ooh. Says, greetings from Louisiana. Please yeah. save us a boil, right? I know Seth. Levi's first in line to eat some of that. A great shellfish, by the way. Okay. Thank you. <laughs> oh wait, this next one's just me, but it's it's a good oh, reminder for okay. people anyway. Great. Boo. So next, hey, Shelby, make B. sure you drop that like and questions below. We're building Shelby up <laughs> from one of my favorite places in the world, <laughs> Emmett, Idaho. Oh, right, man, I'm sorry. great. Old Emmett <laughs> says, uh, "Happy Friday Eve, gents. What a good alternative from nat. What's a good alternative from natural finish? Uh. Um, I usually use Express to clean my interior, but would like to keep the plastics condition. Shelby, <laughs> do you know what the answer is? It's Swift. It's a Swift new product. From Swift, 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 Swift is, is going to literally be you should have it in the your store next favorite week. new product for exactly that. It's so convenient you're um, asking for something that is actually... And we are sorry that we do not have in stock. Board. So technically, I think on the po- Mondays or Tuesdays podcast, I had mentioned that we were expecting that it was going to come in. Right. Because our order is so big, mm-hmm. they had to re... They had to not redo, but they had to make this batch fresh for us. Oh, right? right? It's a fresh batch of cookies, right, from yeah. the bag mm-hmm. company. So they're still warm um, when they were So... Arrive. They had to get a little bit more of the scents, and they had to get a few more of the things, but I know that the products have been created now, and I believe they're shipping them out today or tomorrow, so it really does sound like they're not going to be until next week. Okay. Uh, Okay. In the meantime, if you're looking for something, we recommend Top Star. Mm -hmm. We recommend, uh, we have dynamic dressing back in stock. Okay. So we've got ready-to-use dynamic. You can grab that. Um, And yeah. I think think you like Top Star, though, too. So Top Star is one of my favorites. 
Yeah, that's so, great. Nice. David Cervantes says, hey. uh, greetings from Station One. Sunny and 82 degrees with some lovely yellow fire apparatus. What is mm. up, man? <laughs> wow. How are you? Talk about the vibes. Yes. Love it. And Larry. Larry. Oh, greetings, TRCNs. <laughs> that's Very nice one, Larry. I like that. New, new form, I, I was going to say, yeah. I, I'm loving all the names. Keep coming up with names, guys. These are fun. Yeah. And then he who shall remain nameless says, your Friday Eve is my Friday. Ooh. Congrats. Very nice. Interesting. Uh, Alex saying, Anthony Shedd is uh, very well lit as a podcast studio. Love the vibes. Mm -hmm. I think so. Natural lighting on that, right? Mm -hmm. Through the doors. We'll just do this. I think this is the size of your shed. Um, Is it? (laughs) (laughs) We're looking around like, "Mm, actually, it is. If you just bring it down like a couple feet. Um, no, Dane, I have 11 it's and a half, actually I have that 11 tall. Half, 11 and a half foot peak. I have eight foot ceilings or eight what? foot walls. So, okay. uh, wow. You yeah, know, that's, that tall. that's what happens. That's a big boy. When you play with the big boys. Wow. Uh, we have Joey Balinski says, happy Thursday, boys. For <laughs> hashtag 420, hashtag. <laughs> Live dabadooya. Live <laughs> dabadooya. <laughs> Uh, and Hans um, saying Abend, TLRC. Um, TLRC. They were going with that after TRC. Yeah. And then uh, Larry bought MDR and EU today. Woohoo. Mm, nice. All right, man. Good. Enjoy that. <laughs> Give him a shot. Uh, Sam Taylor says, what is up from sunny South Carolina? Everywhere has sun except yes. for us. Yeah, weird how that happens. Uh, Send help. Yeah. Sure. Uh, Joey guys, asking, sure. are we getting an MOS solo Q and A next week? I'm up if you guys are up for Dude, it. I think you guys. Yeah. Are, I think you guys are going to so- just have you, run it. You're going to do I a solo get, session. I might get some folks in. We we Where's made Anthony me? do it when we were gone. You, you might sure actually make so make some money too, right? I might. Yeah. Get a couple you get those super, super chats. chats. You know, yeah. when we leave, they're suddenly like willing to you know open the yeah, wallet. Yeah, like, this is John comes over with cash. They're like, well, I just like this guy better. There's a couple hundreds for you. Glenn saying 420 was a bigger deal many moons ago. I know, right? I remember that. <laughs> oh, man. Uh, I have Damon <laughs> says, Afternoon, fellas, I just pre sprayed the daily with Forrest and O&R, and I'm very impressed. Nice. Wow. Go, very good. good. Enjoy it. Combo. Forrest is no joke, man. Alex says, Don't forget, Anthony and Levi are certified Porsche show judges. <laughs> Be sure that's known to the club upon arrival. Oh, oh they, they, know. they know. They know. We're concourse level. <laughs> the concourse level, uh, and they know. They've yes. uh, we've we've been we've judged many a Porsche club <clears throat> uh, situations. So. Did they appreciate it? Mm-hmm. Oh okay. yeah, yeah. Okay. Oh, a hundred percent. No, nobody yeah. was feeling a little. No, a they little take our they take our word as gospel. When they go, okay. they go. I'm third place on this thing. We say yes, like. Wow, and you guys have seen a lot of nice cars. Exactly. We go. Take it we, go we go. Yep. Yep, it's exactly what it is. And you guys go to like Pebble Beach, and you're still saying mine's like third place. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. I out mean, of that's... these five cars, that <laughs> out are of here. The five cars that are here, <laughs> pretty baby. pretty I mean, like, good odds. Uh... I mean, you're in the the lower part of half. <laughs> that's where you're but sitting. You're trying. Yep. They're like, exactly. wow, yeah. this Porsche really is special. But the nice part is, it's, yeah, like, it's a one of one. The yeah. average person's eyes can't perceive the things that a detailer necessarily true, can. True. True. So sometimes, if you got to walk them through it, if they're really kind of challenging and they're not mm-hmm. sure about it, you can walk them through it, and you can demonstrate here are the tiny things that make all the difference. Yeah, it'll yeah. be good to see them though. We're excited to get that yeah. crew in again. We have a lot of fun with them. Hugo Fireflies. Always love Guten Nacht, Mittag, guys. Ooh. <laughs> What's up, buddy? Han okay. saying. How much for that shirt, MOS? Oh, oh come the Masters on. of Shine. Yes. Oh, that's a edition. that's a classic. That's yeah, a throwback. This is a, let me get better there. I so. believe that's a priceless. That's artist. an original. This is, this is like the only one. Yeah. I have one other one that's got the set of the wings. It's got a state of Idaho. Oh, okay. Yeah. Has so it survived that. the washing machine? I think, okay. I think Hans Closen would pay enough to put your kids through college. Probably. You just have that, to sell them thing. literally I could probably all buy of another, the I could probably buy an S10 for what I could sell this yeah, one for. Probably. Gotta get yourself it's even another got little compound, red truck. It's even got compound stains it on it. Does. That it does. Wash out. Wow. So, you know, the, I, I like to look that there's years of experience inside that sweatshirt. <laughs> this one is. This is one of the first um, uh, independent hoodies back wow. in the day what when year they were. What would that be? Well, it was probably a 2012, 2013. Okay. Wow, it's that's patina. Almost, that's it's ten years OG old. It's a there. good. It's a good hoodie. Yeah, it's nice. more nicely. Ulysses, 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 Ulysses. Uh, says, uh, "Yo, yo, yo! I finally get to watch a live Q and A in a long hey. time. Listening to this as I tape and mud my garage, Ooh. aka detail bay. Oh, have fun! Man. Making it pretty. Okay. Nothing like mm. nothing like laying down a little bit of mud. You mm, know, nice you grab that scraper, ch- ch- scoop it mm-hmm. up, slather it on the wall, scrape it in." Hit off the excess. Improving yeah, nice. the nice. aesthetics of your detail bay. Very nice. I will say, you know, speaking of aesthetics, do you guys like it better when we have the lights off in here and it's just a face I light, don't. or does it look too moody for yeah. you? I'm, I don't. I can't I'm throwing see it out anything. there. I'm curious what people think. I think it looks better. It's more 
interesting contrasty, but you you be the judge of that. I just want right. to hear some Hugo opinions. says, why does O&R hold the dirt in the sponge and wash media? And Absolute doesn't. When I clean my sponge after washing with some APC, the O&R sponge releases a lot of dirt. The Absolute one stays clean. What are the pros and cons of this behavior? Hmm. Um, so... That's a hard one to answer. They both do pretty much the same stuff. When they come in contact with dirt and grime, they both encapsulate and they both start to emulsify. Now, the differences between the two products are when they both reach the bucket again and you rinse out your sponge (coughs) in the bucket, um, they do have a tendency. They're both designed to pull as much dirt as possible to the bottom of that bucket. Mm -hmm. As to what's still left in the wash media, the sponge itself... Um, that is, uh, that is unusual because they're both should technically clean about the same other than what's trapped in the sponge. Yeah. I, I I don't know exactly the sponge mechanics of things. I know what it's like once it goes into the bucket, but looking at the sponge itself, it could just be a different way that one car was dirtier. could be one way, uh, just a different way that the dirt is encapsulated potentially, right? To where maybe like, depending on how that sponge is being wiped over which product that product is less is more likely or less likely to go into the sponge versus yeah. the other which may move it away from the sponge and may remove it from the car itself or mm. rinse it off the car yeah. itself i have no idea that's a that's a great question um or like different really washing to that level of chemistry yeah or like different washing on different surfaces so like let's say you take the same car anthony let's say we take your civic Mm. Right, freshly washed or freshly painted Civic. Mm. Yes, yeah. It gets hit by this snowstorm last mm. night, mm. right? On your new paint. No, nope. mm-hmm. it was in the garage. You Ooh. rinse this wash Close it. Call. Yeah, right. Mm-hmm. And you and you clean your sponge, and it's and it's clean. Yeah. Then you pull it out, and tomorrow we have a rainstorm that hits. But guess what? Mm. It's dirty rain. Mm. Holy smokes! Mm. Yeah. yeah. So it's Scary stickier. Home. Oh, it's dirty sticky. rain is always very sticky. Potentially etchable, too, <clears throat> because exactly. of all the, all the minerals in there. Yeah. yeah. And then you do the same rinseless wash. Yeah. And you're like, but I washed this car one day and right. like on a snowstorm and this rainstorm, and this sponge is much dirtier. Could it be just the, the surface of the vehicle? Hmm. It's fresh paint. It's been cleaned. Mm-hmm. It's been it's cared for. It makes you wonder. Is it right? the minerals mm-hmm. and the product that it, they're the, the dirt that is the offender? Okay. We'll never know. We don't know. Yeah. Anyway, Glenn Dennis. It drives the point, though, that they are different. Received my five liter. Ooh, it's a big jug Ooh. of goof yesterday. I'm looking it's forward to goof. fleshing up my mats. Nice. Fleshing up it's your gonna, mats. Be, it feels like human skin when you're done. That's, it'll uh, be great. Yikes. Yeah. <laughs> uh, and then uh, the one who shall remain nameless got my TR SEMA hall unpacked yesterday <clears throat> feeling that bdd bde today with some nice. stecada nice Ooh, nice looking forward to using the ik360 mini those trc material towels are so nice what are your top three uses for them well they're basically <laughs> like a they're a wolf pack uh they are literally towel like wolf yeah pack just towel. in a different color with uh with the trc logo on them so, so anything exterior related um yeah. you could rinse this with them interior stuff you can rinse this you can quick detail you can remove light polish light wax light you can dust um, gosh, I mean, the world is your oyster. I just have fun with them. I just yeah. know that they need to be used. People get these towels and they go, wow, this is so nice. Yeah. I don't want to use it. And I go, no, you need to use it. The yeah. point is to be used. You need mm-hmm. to use it. You yeah. need to have fun with it. I understand if it's a limited edition one, maybe you want to keep that one nice. Okay, maybe. But that. like, go get some wolf pack towels. It's the same feel, but go and use them because yeah. they're affordable. They're really good looking and we have plenty of them. So you can come back for more. There you go. Or some have called them the wolf pack. Mm-hmm. No, Dane, <laughs> Joey says, I house. couldn't get enough of that hot motor plast action last week, so I decided mm-hmm. to clean my own engine bay this week for her second birthday. Yeah. Hot birthday bath. Mm-hmm. Glad to see a fellow take care of your vehicle. motor plast enjoyer. Dan Pfeiffer saying those ego riders are sweet. <laughs> okay, so Dan's seen them. Yeah, it's uh, pretty sweet, man. Yeah. yeah. 
Then well, Hugo, Hugo says, a fake lawn in the studio, replace it monthly. <laughs> That's right. Yeah. We'll just plant a lawn in the middle. Yeah. It'll be turf, but, you no. know, whatever. Dane would love if we planted a tree in there. Oh, man. He wants, I just, Dane I wants love, a courtyard. Hugo goes sit I there. want a courtyard so bad. I want Japanese maple. I want a little <laughs> Jeff would pond. Jeff would show up and be like, what did you do? Like, I okay. made it better. He would go, Dane, Dane the soil is too here. acidic. Yeah, Dane, why would you do that? You're like, I bought it at Home Depot. Leave me alone. I just bought it and put it in here. I didn't do anything. I Hole in the ceiling so the tree could go through yeah. it too. So there's well, like, I just put like, in these you're gonna do this, do it right. <laughs> and so it's like over there landscaping it. So it's like, just, Dane, do you even want to go on this trip? <laughs> yeah. It's just me painting wheels all over again. Yeah. <laughs> Alex Stewart, with Dane's average male yet below Jack Reacher height, a curved shaft weed whacker is necessary for maintaining the Meridian Hillside property overgrowth. Well, fortunately, I'm no longer dealing with the Meridian overgrowth. Yeah, you're it is now in transferred Boise. to Boise, Boise He's overgrowth. in Boise now. It's but uh, I like to think are, I got the you, hillside under what, control. What are you doing about your about weed your, eating about your weed eating situation, though? Fortunately, yeah. looking out there, minimal weeds. I've seen uh, two dandelions okay. and I okay. pulled. No, okay, but true. you're a big fan of edging, though, right? Well, yeah, you need a good edger. <laughs> you do. You, need, you to... need to be able to get out there and make sure you get a nice clean. Finished job. You don't want to do a sloppy Correct. job. Correct. Yeah. I'm so you don't want to do sloppy edging. No. Yeah. No. So that's what I'm asking. We're professionals you, Opposite here. of edging. Yeah. So, but you you need to get an edger though. Uh, yeah, that's that's on the list. It's one See, of I'm saying that's a weed, I, that weed eater can be in your edger. Brandon happened to leave his. Oh, oh what? he brought so, it over. That's cool. That's yeah, nice he brought movie. it over, and uh, I'm like, cool. So, so he's it. he's Carly just going to let me borrow. Carly likes watching me edge. That's like her favorite thing. She says it's like the most satisfying for her. Uh, is to watch me edge in the backyard, in the front yard. <clears throat> uh, my neighbors like to watch me edge, and it's the weirdest thing. Do they? Thing. That's odd. Glenn oh, that's Davis. Thank or you, Glenn, Glenn Dennis. Okay. Sorry, I keep calling you Davis. I get so used to G here. <laughs> says, on your East Coast adventure, I know you plan on visiting Phil and the team at Detailer's Domain. Yes. Is that a meet and greet or just a visit? So, Glenn, we uh, talked and had a meeting today about that. The Detailer's just Domain, today. most of those, all the locations, uh, Dane is going to be building a little flyer for it and they are all going to be meet and greets yeah so there will be strategic so places be multiple stop. places to meet us and the, greet us there will be enough time to come and see us and hang out for a little bit at least <laughs> in different areas yeah so whatever one is best for you try and plan around that and we'll get that info out probably in the next week yeah the goal is say. to try and get it out uh by the first of may okay. so yeah all right alex the battery ride on the Ego full load is like 10K Holy Canadian, smokes. so probably 6,000 US. So your yeah. neighbor is rolling. He, he yeah, bought a, I mean, he they, bought do, a, they do well. He could have bought two Hondas. <laughs> they do well. I know. They could have had two Honda Civics in the garage. You could have, you could have converted a Honda to a mower. That's even like after the mower. inflation of the used car market and everything. What if, what if, what if you threw, what if you got, you, we went over there? Took that engine out of that ego, put it in a Honda Civic. <laughs> Six batteries, it probably make just more motors, power. Right? Like, yeah. Yeah. Like, yeah. <laughs> Definitely more Six torque. batteries in the center. <laughs> so I don't think this is how Forget it works. Tesla swaps. We're doing ego it is, swaps now. It is now. very nice. It's very cool looking and very nice. And man, if I had a yard that big, that would be like Did goal. Did he give you like a sense of how long it runs before you got a? replace stuff? I have no idea. He said it took six it's full six batteries. batteries that I believe they all charge on the vehicle itself. Like oh, they, interesting. I think they So you like, plug the vehicle in and the vehicle is the charger? I believe so. I have no I cuz so I you can't don't have to I, take them out if I you don't can't want. imagine you could pull one of those batteries but you could pull one of those batteries to put it on your curved right. shaft. So yeah. I mean you or can have a whole bunch blower, of handheld tools. Right? Doing yeah. a little bit of blowing doing a little bit of edging. All oh, right. Uh, wow, sounds like a party. Scott Mattern says the zero turn style of Eagle riding mower <clears throat> is seven thousand on, on wow. Amazon. I'm just so, picturing that showing up. I'm on pretty an sure Amazon we could talk brand. to Chris about giving us one. <laughs> I don't think we can. I don't think we can pull that off. <laughs> JoJo uh, Crawdaddy saying yellow, yellow boys. Sup to the three amigos. <laughs> What's going on, man? Hey yo, uh, Joey. Back in Dana from the podcast this week. I love my Ryobi mower. I use it between landscaper visits, and I think it does the better job. Wow. Really? Wow. I just. I don't know, man. I, it's just Thanks Ryobi. Up, Joey. Yeah. I'm just not a Ryobi guy. Me neither. I, Larry, I have a lot of Ryobi hand tools, so it just kind of made sense. Larry saying that. they run 5 to 7K, looks like, based on style and Dang. features. Okay, I, that that is steeper than a gas one, but that's yeah. to be expected. With, well, you know, I think his is the tech. zero turn style based off oh, how okay. – I mean, because he's, he's able to do this, right? Oh, and, I thought and, you said it was like more of a traditional no, style no, not a zero it's turn like, style. It's, it's like – 
bam, you know, oh, okay. spin, so, on, yeah. you know, spin okay. on the dime yeah. type of so, thing. So, yeah, it's kind of like uh, so know, pretty cool. with each side. Melissa says, um, unfortunately, Spider-Man cannot make the meet and greet. Oh. Was looking forward to meeting the crew. Oh, unfortunate, that's unfortunate Spider-Man. Oh, Would have looked forward to that, so that's yeah. a bummer. David Cervantes says, I just signed three years of my life away to go back to college to get my paramedic certificate. Woo! Oh, man, that's awesome. You get awesome. it, David. That's everybody. awesome. Congratulations, Congrats. man. That's amazing. Stick to it. All right. Uh, Glenn Dennis says, I'm about two hours from him. I'm close to West Point. Oh, okay, nice. Okay. What's West Point? West Point, New York, yeah. I think. Okay. That's what he said. Oh, I was thinking the or Academy. New Jersey. <laughs> West Point Academy. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I was thinking, uh, wasn't that, isn't uh, that Annapolis? Yeah, that's Maryland. Maryland. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, Glenn, uh, we're going to be putting out all the places that we're going to be at, so make sure you figure out which ones you want to come to and hang out. Yeah, so that'll be out within yeah, the next Yeah, we'd week. love to love to have you either at the Detailer's Domain or at Long Island or at Bedford Hills. Uh, Terrytown? We're going to be staying in Terrytown, okay. Sleepy Hollow, and then we're going to mm-hmm. be uh, visiting Detailed Image, yeah. Detailer's Domain, Long Island Detail Supply, and Haggerty, Haggerty are you, Garage Are you wanting Garage to do Social. a cemetery walk at Sleepy Hollow? Yes, if I'd we have time, I would again. love to do I that. I think we should do a, <clears throat> a do a I think we should do another walk, right? Last time we did it, Morgan got haunted, right? Yeah. Stuck yeah. with her. She goes, well, I don't know what's wrong. I just yeah, feel so weird. She's like, I feel so crazy. weird lately. And we said, Morgan, you you get what you put out there, right? Mm-hmm. We were, yeah. me and the rest of the boys, we were putting out good vibes. Well, we also a Honda we also wore a number yeah. of protection charms, and yeah. we offered her one, an, an anti-possession one. Yes. Mm-hmm. And she was like, I'm not going to wear that. Well, and you know what ended up happening? She found that dead squirrel and uh-huh. walked back, right? Yeah, it was that, a skinned. The squirrel it, was inside out. It, it was, was kind of horrifying. Some yeah. bird had really done a number. Out. At least you anyway, think it was Anyway, we love Sleepy mm-hmm. Hollow. We cannot wait to go back and see what kind of haunting. G. Davis was with us, too. That was a great time. Seriously. Nothing more fun than exploring Sleepy Hollow Graveyard with G. Davis. Jay, shout out to you. <laughs> oh, we can't make this stuff up. Uh, we have first from Puerto Rico, Humberto. Humberto, saying hello, TRC team, saying hey, hi hey. to everybody. And we have Kimberly hey, in the house. Hey, Kimberly. You're around Chicago. Saying uh, greetings, guys. Forced just for KCX, does any – forced just for KCX, does any one – Oh my gosh! You're, Anyone? You are killing She's, me with this. She put this. all the words together. <laughs> Forrest, just for KCX, does oh, anyone want to tell me how to clean an engine bay without water or hose? Don't goof off. Seriously, how? That must have been an autocorrect nightmare awesome. to write. So, uh, <laughs> so just for kicks, without water, without water or a yeah. hose. So um, you can do that with O and R. Uh, you can spray. Uh, forced, or pump sprayer, yeah, you yeah. can hand spray, you know, with a with a trigger sprayer or pump sprayer. You can spray forced. You can use a brush. You can clean and scrub all your interior plastic or all those plastics and things around the engine bay. Anthony steamer. does it lots steamer of times. Works great. You can use a like you said a steamer. You can use a pressure sprayer filled with O and R to mm-hmm. rinse everything down, and then you can spray a dressing on the surface. You can get a hmm. bottle of Dynamic or a Motor Plast, and it'll work wonders on the engine. Oh, that's right. it. And that's that's it. It's very simple. Greg I'm on to Smith page two here. Greg Smith says, "Good afternoon from Columbus, Ohio. It's 86 and sunny today, but in Whoa. the 35 to 40s next week for uh, fun for detailers when it comes to oh, those don't doubt roller that coaster tents." That sounds like what we've yeah. been going through. Not quite 86. Oh, 86 is up there. Yeah, we probably have more humidity than we do too. Uh, Joey. I can just pick th- up the PNS shipment and drive it up to y'all <clears> next time. It'd be a real Reacher adventure. It really would. Nice. Don't forget to pack your toothbrush. Keep yeah. that in your pocket always. Does, does he pack that? Rule in number one about being Sherlock homeless. Yeah. <laughs> keep your toothbrush on you at all times. Okay. Really? Rule number two, you're always going to be putting on dirty clothes in the morning. Mm-hmm. So if you don't want to do that, you go buy yourself some new clothes and throw away the other clothes. Yeah. Okay. Number three, always be on the move. Keep them guessing. Yeah, keep them guessing. Okay. I like that about those shows where you know, like, a, like, a, like, a, like, a, like a wander, mm-hmm. who a will drifter, go, like a drifter, he'll a lot just, of songs he'll just go 70s. and buy new clothes and just put the new clothes on. Yep. Right, and I'm always like, are you putting deodorant on under there? No, or you, probably you're not. not. Well, you're not packing it with you. You got nothing but your toothbrush. Ah, oh, man, that would just kill me. So that is the that. one thing that I've been thinking about as I've been perusing these the last 19 Reacher novels. Mm-hmm. Yeah, is I wonder what he smells like. He showers at almost every location he's at. I mean, he he's does find a, a way to take a shower. He's got a lot of surface area to work he's with. He's a large so. man. Yeah. Yeah. So I'm, I am wondering what the body odor situation is because he, he does like to eat when he can. I believe he shaves his pits, too. He might. Based on the series. 
Well, I, on the series, yes, but in the books, I'm just wondering. Yeah. Because he has to use the, the razor that usually is in the bathroom. In the bathroom, whatever he's got with at him. At the hotel that he stays at. Kind of crazy, right? Yeah. You, know, you don't really think about yeah. these things. Does anybody uh, know how many songs were written in the 70s about rambling guys? Well, like the, Ramblin' Man, yeah. you know, stuff mm-hmm. like that. How many I of those know. songs? Are Probably I feel like there's a I lot. I don't know, Dane. Larry Singleton like says, uh, Kimberly, Koshkami Motor Plast for the engine bay, also a very good option. Yep. Mm-hmm. Then Tyler Graff says, Happy Friday Eve TRC crew. Do you know <clears> if TOC Supplies will carry the OptiCoat line because of their affiliation with you guys? Yes, we've been mm. talking to them about that. Yes, I we have been we've in, been in we, having conversations in, in conversation. Work in progress. Jimmy Moto says hello from Detroit. I stopped watching the stream of a close. Fr- I stopped watching the stream of a oh. close friend. At the indoor skydiving championships. Wow, here. I didn't know Jimmy, that was a oh thing. God. But Amazing. Thank wow. you. We really feel honored. Are you saying we're more interesting than indoor skydiving? Because honestly, I find yeah. that hard to believe. We are, and that's a championship too. That's a championship. Seriously, so they're Thank doing you. they're doing tricks. Mm-hmm. How, how do you score that? Well, Is it like figure skating I mean, scores kind tricks, of Dave, stuff? I mean, tricks. yeah. Okay. Okay. Uh, next up, I've got Pedro. Anthony and Dane, prepare to see lots of the Illinois State flower when you get to Romeoville. They're in full bloom, large, round, and orange, and grow all over the interstate. Ha, 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 I was going to say, ha, this ha, feels like an inside joke for anybody living in the area, so I'm just going to assume Probably that's construction. Is he referring to oh. fires? Or construction cones. Well, I mean, awesome. around here in Boise, we have a certain tree that blooms around the springtime, and everybody knows a tree. It smells like a dorm I don't. Room. I don't. I'm guessing you know, it's, I'm you guessing know the it's tree. road construction or a fire. Okay. Yeah. okay. Whatever it may be. Hugo, Hugo <laughs> Flyer Fies says, quote, unquote, compound stain on my shirt. Yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Air quotes. It's a stream. It's a straight stream. Just, just saying. Uh, Larry says the lights are better now. And then okay, Glenn so he Dennis. Likes this. Glenn Dennis says he is two hours away from Long Island Detail okay. Supplies. Okay. Cool. Hmm. And then uh, first from Puerto Rico, something I noticed, like Eddie Cologne, was on the towels using O&R versus Absolute. When set back in the bucket with O&R, releases the dirt from the towel faster. So it must do the same with the UBS. There you Hmm. go. That's a good idea. Okay. Uh, Hugo says, can you boost the cleaning power of a rinseless wash with spraying APC on the surfaces prior to the contact wash? Yes, Mm -hmm. you can. Yep. Totally, Hugo. You totally can. 100%. Okay, we're already to page one, so I just want to tell you guys. Wow. Bring those questions and comments on. Keep them coming. You either have to bring these questions coming or we're going to start talking about life. <laughs> You've got to. I'm ready. you got to. you got to be ready, ready to rock and oh, roll. And, uh, no. you know, you, you never really know where these conversations go. So if you guys want to keep this on track, <laughs> the choice is yours, really. Without questions, things get weird. All right. So we've got Teal Gang. Hashtag. Followed by Dennis Davis, our very own local here. Just letting you guys know I'm alive. Thanks oh, for all you do for the detailing community. Thanks, Dennis. Dennis. You're, Dennis. You are amazing. <laughs> yeah. Thanks for uh, chiming in. We have uh, Raquel. Raphael. Raphael. <laughs> says, uh, good afternoon, fellas. Happy Friday Eve. What's up, man? And then we've hey, got... Hey. Uh, you gotta go on gotta page go. No, you're still up there. Page There's... one. Joy no, Blinsky those were just saying hi says, to I love the Wolfpack towels for drying out door jams. They can conform to all the crevices with ease. That's what we love about some of these towels. Their ability pile to really do comes that. In handy. And then Hans Closen says, "I never got a reply to my email I sent you after TRCMA leave." So oh. Hans, that was if you notice, I asked, I replied to Thomas. Hmm. So it's on Thomas for not replying back because I said, "Thomas, is there any way we can help Hans in this?" And then it's crickets. So the ball didn't get dropped; it got passed. I did get passed, but I had CC'd Hans on that, so you could see. That was my, that was it. Sorry, man. I'll find out. The buck didn't stop here. Tyler's saying, please tell me G. Davis is in the house and heard the fan of edging comment. I mean, if he we'll missed see. it, that's up to him. Lynn sa- or, uh, Glenn, Glenn is in here saying, everyone needs a good edging. Those riding mowers are going oh, for 7500 okay. Perhaps the next rig? Oh, dear. Perhaps it's our <laughs> next build. <laughs> Joel sa- uh, Joey says he likes to manual edge more than the mechanically assisted edging. It's more intimate. I would agree okay. with you on that. All right. This has yeah. just gone off yeah. the rails. Uh, Hans also <laughs> says <laughs> hand edging is the new way. So I heard, you know, my dad used to, used to hand edge. I mean, yeah. that just sounds Well, tedious. he showed me when I was – I would work on my grandma's yard, yeah. right? And he would – Show me. He goes, I got something for you. Oh, and let no. me show you how you're going to start edging. And I was like, well, this is fascinating. <laughs> Turns out they were giant scissors, like shears, 
oh. solid piece of metal. Wow. wow. And you'd squeeze them together. And That's you would terrifying. literally have to cut the grass. That sounds oh, like a limb okay. cutter yeah. around tree. No, these are like but it goes in the ground. Shears. Grass shears. Grass shears, yeah. But they are like old. They were like straight up from like the 30s. A little, little rusty yeah. around the yeah, edge. Yeah, uh -huh. oh. no, they were sharp though. Oh, Ooh. And he's like, you just take these and you just yes. go around here and just trim this up and get those pieces of grass. And I was like, that sounds horrible. This looks like a lot of work. That <laughs> like, uh, boy, just seem like anything I want to do. It's crazy. I so, just get a battery uh, and a string that whips around really fast. Quick side yeah. note, a couple things I noticed. Uh, recently here um, uh, the new Fast X movie oh, right it's coming out that. we, coming we out made our posters May 19 uh, May 19th me and Levi already started making our little posters of ourselves you know within the trailer mm -hmm. um, but the newest trailer came out right yeah. kind of I asked feeling... Dane I sent Dane the link so he could include his photo and he never did that. it I actually did it but it never sent yeah. I did it when I went to the chiropractor. So last year we ended up doing like a, or no, it was two years ago right I think it was two mm -hmm. years ago we yeah. had like a we hung out with the G Technic crew, and we went. Well, no, we yeah. all Morgan went out there. here. We had yeah. Morgan's boyfriend, and we all went and saw yeah, the Eric Fast Nine Chris movie, and, uh, and that was a fun time. I was wondering was how the heck time. can we do that again, right? We will get all of our high performance machines mm -hmm. meet up our own at, car the, show. at the. Remember, Seabass had his Volvo there. Yeah, he did. But yeah. you remember how empty the Edwards was? It, it was, was weirdly empty. It was, empty. It was in an IMAX theater. It was wasn't it? opening yeah. day of the Fast yeah, Nine. We were in IMAX. And we went to the IMAX thinking, guys, we got to get there early. It's going to be packed. And, yeah. and, and we wasn't. all said we're going to drive our cool cars. And by cool cars, what we had in the parking lot was <laughs> uh, we had the Levi Suburban, right? I think you, I think you had the Suburban. Yep, Gabe's did. Honda Civic, my Honda Civic. Dane had his Jaguar. And then I want to say that Jimmy drove his I Miata. Drove the Miata. Yeah. He and didn't have the that was our crew. Yeah. And he said right. our crew is kind of not that cool when you, when you when you step back a little yeah. bit further. We had Eric and and uh, Chris in their rental car. In their yeah, rental, yeah, car. rental car, but <laughs> so but we, we may, all parked hard. So we may we may go <laughs> we see that best. movie again. We're kind of excited about that. Just uh, you know, see what happens next. Kind of Jason Momoa thing. seems fun. So he does seem fun. Yeah. Uh, but um, outside of that, though. You know, detailing season is among us. We are already in it, and you know we got to start thinking about how, what we can do to take our whips to the next level, including mm. Dane. Dane wants to wrap yeah, his vehicle. Yeah, Dane's been doing some hot mm. stuff. Dane, what do you, why don't you tell some of the folks what you've been doing? Some of your mods. You did something today. Uh, you've been doing well, these mods. What did you do today? I mean, Dane? I did some subtle stuff. So in the case of the F type, I did put Velocity AP lowering springs on it. I wanted to maintain everything as stock as possible, so I wanted to keep the suspension still adaptive to all that stuff. But I put different springs in it. So they're adaptive in the sense that they're they're progressive. So they start at a different spring rate, and then okay. as you go further down, the coil's different, so it gets stiffer as you go further down. Mm. So it becomes more performancey the harder you push it. So you well, have a softer that, ride over potholes yeah, and stuff like that, but it lowers it an inch, well, too. So we all know you are the most spirited driver. Fun fact, Dane once told me, he goes, you know how you get around them speeding tickets? <laughs> I said, how? He goes, just take the class. He goes, <laughs> he goes, I've taken the class like 10 times. This sounds like me. And so it always looks like I have a clean record yeah, and wow. that I've never been pulled over. I've wow. never been in an accident. He goes, you just take the class. It erases three points. Wow. It costs like 50 bucks. No <laughs> big deal. I said, wow, I didn't know you could do that that many times. And he said, yeah, that's how you do it. And he yeah. goes, he goes, I, that's how I go. When I'm driving to McCall, yeah. when I go on these road trips, I'm doing 120. Driving, driving to Vegas was an unfortunate um side effect there trying to keep up with my dad yeah. and uh i'm the one who got pulled over by an officer who looked not unlike larry Cassell. So, he looked just like and that him. So was your, and that was number 12 my 12th, god no 12th speeding ticket maybe 13. i've had two speeding tickets in my entire uh, life right well okay <laughs> once in my honda on element ones that, and the you know, other the ones in, they didn't take the class for. <laughs> yeah god Racing and then tickets. okay on the flex i got the wheels powder coated so nice. there's no more yeah, um, looks good Less phallic phall spokes and all the, 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 the spoke like phalluses are gone. Yeah. yeah, now it's just all blacked out. Well, I told Dane. I said you just and got your nice. you just got your wheels powder coated. I said you have a white vehicle with black gloss black wheels now. And storm you have yourself a nightmare. His tires yes. are the color of this table. They're, when they're when you have a white car with gloss black tires or gloss black wheels. Those tires are going to be the most noticeable thing about Time that car. Time to bust car. out the tire paint. And you yeah. have to have <laughs> you know so what? much tire paint. I want to make him cry. Maybe I will do that. <laughs> oh, my God. That would be yeah. Alex, Ooh, can you come down sinister. for that? Yeah. Screw cleaning them. Just paint them every time. Paint them. <laughs> Why not, right? But on the, up, on the upside, Ooh, I do have, uh, yeah. I have also in my possession to install 
by, you know, maybe you'll help me out, maybe, if I ask nicely. Uh, some BC coils to yeah. lower it a little bit and, you know, improve the ride a and little bit because the stocks are shot. I got some new brake rotors I'm excited. that so are, are cross-drilled you... slotted. So question, stuff. red and yellow brake calipers. They are red calipers. No more no more McDonald's calipers. These are just what really if, red ones. What if you did a red one, a yellow one, a red one, a yellow one? So you did red no. and yellow on each side. Or 50-50. <laughs> mm. You st- Put a stripe in the middle. I know it was so my just trademark a for a minute. Half red, there. half yellow I caliper. Think, Some people okay. do that. I, could be a I'm new look. I really think that Dane it. shouldn't be involved with anything caliper color related <laughs> and or tire paint. Mm. I just But don't it'll just know. look good. What these ones, these ones are red out the box, so I don't have to do anything. So oh. we'll be okay. But anyway, new stuff coming. You know, fix mm-hmm. the stuff that's uh, kind of worn out, sad looking, and then it'll be really nice. All right. So I'm looking forward to that. I like it. All right. So jumping back to some questions here. Yes. Uh, Glenn Dennis says, "What point is the military? West Point, West Point is the military academy, and uh, in New York, that's where uh, I don't know if you guys knew this. Jack Reacher went to West Point. No, graduate, he did. Graduate not. of West Point. He, he is actually uh-huh. did. Yeah. Do you think we can get a picture of Glenn in front of uh, West Point there, looking like Probably. a Jack Reacher yeah. style? That man. would be great. That'd be crazy. That would be do that, fun. Glenn. That'd be awesome. So, what is it at Annapolis, Maryland, then?" So I, I guess I got it mixed up because I, I guess I don't know the. You're gonna have to yeah. Google it. Somebody, and find somebody out. school me on that. All right, I Eric saying sorry, work interrupted the show, so I'm catching up. Y'all oh. come down and I'll boil some crawfish. Ooh, I, that sounds this amazing. guy right here. The best way to do that for That's what he wants. I'm all about it, especially and with then, the sausage. Uh, Joey in there. answering the the Jack Reacher question. <laughs> some of us big guys smell good. Okay. Okay. No, I'm not denying that, right? <laughs> There's no denying that. Yeah. Some people do smell really hey, good. Hey, some people like that, you know, that just that natural. I just, when I look life. at Jack Reacher, right, I look at him and I go, you know what he smells like in a clone? Mm. John Varvatos by John Varvatos. Okay, I can, can see that. He, well, do you even know what that smells I like? I do. Mm-hmm. So it's a, it's got a leather undertone, right? Mm-hmm. But it is the most perfect white crisp t-shirt and blue jeans with a nice pair of boots scent that there is, that's right? That's what he usually wears. And that's what he is, right? So yeah. that's what I'm telling you. John Varvatos by John Varvatos. I mean... It sounds like a 90s Hanes commercial. What do you mean? A white t-shirt and blue well, jeans. Well, he usually wears like, like a tan or a, yeah, or a I mean, dark it, windbreaker. He wears okay. a tan jacket, okay. like a canvas yeah. jacket or windbreaker. My, my main question here Most is I can't imagine outfit. it smells great after being, you know, 48 hours without a shower in Georgia's climate. Just that does not seem... always in Georgia, Dane. He moves around. No, I but say. in the TV show, for example, that yeah, just but that's seems only like one little... episode. He yeah. was in Georgia. If I was walking around in jeans and boots and through Georgia in You're the middle sweating. of the summer, it's not great down there, yeah. right? No. And I don't like, want that. He was just in the last book. He was in in California. You're not just walking through a swamp. You are the currently swamp. right now. He's in London. Wandering around uh-huh. in foggy London town, well, okay. trying to find a sniper. He must be very out of place. Huh. Uh, the hairy horsewife says, <laughs> he is, he "Sticks out in every cheese. town he walks into." Late to the party tonight. <laughs> Hope you all are doing well. This week I've been using the Wolf Pack towels nice. a lot. Good. Gotta say they are 100 percent my new favorite plush towel. Wow, that is nice. love. To that hear doesn't it. speak volumes to what the Wolf Pack is. I don't know what does. I've been job, seeing Darren. this kind of comment repeated though several times over in the Facebook group Fun. elsewhere. Everybody seems to remember enjoy when. It. Uh, remember when we were like, "This is a nice towel." Yeah, mm-hmm. and uh, there were some people that were like, "You guys are crazy," <laughs> and we said, "Yeah, crazy they they like held a, us down. They crazy said, like a wolf." They said, "Don't." Ooh, they said, "Do ooh. not make these towels brown." And they yeah, said, and "We said watch, watch us, watch us." us. Yeah. Here's and a towel that's brown right out the bag. Yeah. Look at it's us. Said, now. Not going to be a big. Mm-hmm. Not going to be big. And we said, "Yeah, they will." Just watch. Just Pedro. Watch. Carrillo says the orange uh, construction barrels. The water We got ones? it now. Yeah. Okay. Mm-hmm. Every car wreck in a movie seems to end with somebody smashing into it and water blasting everywhere. Yep. Construction cones. It's hell. Wow. Yeah. Okay. okay. Good. Now we know. Now Maybe Ulysses saying know. Utah is the same state flower. <laughs> yeah. That's exactly right. And Sam Taylor saying, Bead right now, state. I use Beadmaker as my sealant for a wash clay and seal. There's a Thoughts on question. using Inspiration Defender in its place. Is it supposed to last longer than Beadmaker? Yes. Inspiration Defender is stronger than Bead Maker, but it's as also as the, chemically different. Yeah, as far as the wash yeah. clay seal, I, I'm sure it's probably possible. I would hit up Cindy. Uh, what we're saying, well, Cindy. no, we talked about it in TRCMA. Oh, did we you? are not saying, no, not to, saying use to use it. Okay. Inspiration Defender because it does it lacks the lubricity. Mm. Gotcha. That Bead gotcha. Maker provides. Okay. A lot now, of people did ask. You that, can yeah. use Bead Maker, put it on, do it. You do your wash clay seal with Bead Maker, and then top Defender. And it will still bond 
with the bead maker. I'm, I'm giving it another week until Jamie the Cleaner makes his bead maker and defender together. <laughs> yeah, and calls it be. bead defender. Yeah, you never know who's who's to bead say. defender. Uh, <laughs> oh no, <laughs> that sounds bad. Yeah, that's <laughs> not good, Dane. Compound words can be problematic yeah. sometimes. Uh, Joey Belinsky says hot life talk there or bead yeah. defender. How about that? Defender. Defender. Uh, Pedro says they pop up every sting, spring and don't die till December. And then Alex Dewar says, preaching to the choir, but my goodness, those clay scrubbers are ergonomic and mm. pleasant to mm. use. Mm. 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 <laughs> Sapper in a Shelby mm. saying, I live... Oh, sorry. Oh, you yeah, we jumped got Joey responding. Joey. Alex. I got it in my mystery bag. Haven't used them yet. Thought they were smaller, but perfect size. Well, you, Joey Belinsky's got large hands. Jack so. Reacher size guy, so, you know... Yep. Sapper and a Shelby saying, I live out in the desert. The hard water and dust problems here are unreal. I bet. While I have been looking into a water softener, am I at a loss when dealing with water spots? Any tips to help me out? Man. Uh, FSC, Coach Kemi's FSC yeah. is great for when you're finished washing. Uh, it'll help Door remove jams. any of the leftover minerals that are on the surface. Uh, you can pick up MDR and use it. The new version, especially the Optico version, is designed to be a little stronger and be able to be left on overnight before you wash mm-hmm. it off. Um, uh, G Technic has a water spot remover in the lineup as well, hmm. and we recommend that. Okay. So uh, you can but wash with my that advice, one. dude. Honestly, a CR spotless system will be one of your best investments. Mm-hmm. Um, three hundred and fifty to four hundred bucks, and it'll, you'll be set for probably a year, year and a half, depending on how much you're using it. Uh, but it is freeing mm-hmm. having no longer having hard water during your washes. Okay. Um, then we have Joey Blinsky says, I miss me a good Dane Twitch night. Yeah. Holy smokes. Well, Alex posted something oh, that I don't yeah. think Dane wanted to post <laughs> I, it. I don't need to post but, that one. Uh, it's mostly Dane doing lawn care in his robe. So, uh, uh, yeah, yeah, that's yard. a good way to interpret it. No, I um, think maybe I have to assemble a pantry that's flat packed tonight, so that's going to be fun. Ooh, so, nice. That'd little be thing nice. off Wayfair. Hope a kid didn't show up in it. You know, got to look out cool. for that. A you know, pantry? Random. Yeah. Yes. Because Explain I don't have, this to me. he doesn't have a pantry in his house. In my kitchen, I know the house you know, yeah. was built and had a very limited amount of cabinets. Yeah, space. it's very strange why they chose to opt out against that. Maybe they used uh, the spare bedroom as a pantry. So I mean, there's a pot that's pretty big for a pantry. But, but I mean, the like they is, probably used it as like a guest room, but then they also put sure. like a couple shelves up and said, "This is where our food goes." Either that, or that just as a couple, they didn't have enough stuff to like fully fill it up. But in True. our case, we just try and like stock up on a few things so we yeah. don't have to go mm-hmm. out and buy as yeah. often. So yeah, I gotta assemble some pantries. I gotta nice. build some shelves, some you know, closets. It's gonna be nice space type stuff. So, so, it so is, yeah, so it's like a full boxed up. Pantry. It's 72 inches tall, nice. and it's about 16 inches deep. So it's pretty yeah. narrow, but that way yeah. it goes right up against the wall by my fridge. I can still walk through and still access everything yeah. without it being awkward. Yeah. Okay. So that's the goal. We used to have one in our old house because the same reason. There was no pantry yeah. built, but there was like a blank wall that could have housed a whole so, pantry. Yeah. I mean, in and my case, it just made sense. Find one that blends in with the rest of the stuff yep. nicely. Yeah, that's Just, all we did. So it was put great. It together. It was hot pantry talk is what. Yeah. This yeah. Is. So, so did you get your deep freezer? Have you uh, gotten that yet? No, I do not have a deep freezer you yet. To get but that, one is, of those. that is. I think it, I think you'll I enjoy like. that mm. because of the ability to put lots of frozen items. Yeah. You'll be able to go to Costco and buy frozen things. And Once go, I can clear oh, out more of the garage, nice. there may be space for one. So it we'll well, it also works as a workbench. Oh, yeah. You can so, drill on top of it. That's right, because you like you can, the coffin style. Freezer. Yeah, you can drill yeah, holes, you know. things. Just be careful not to drill through. <laughs> I was gonna say that's mm-hmm. the only problem. You I'm, really, I'm really liking my, you know, stand up. Yeah, you got a freezer. fridge style, I, I but it's just a style. pure freezer. Um, I'm really liking it. No frost buildup, and it's been a year now. Oh, nice. How long have I had that freezer? About a year. Oh, a year. No frost buildup. Yeah. Nice. Because there's not enough room for frost to form because of the way those drawers are, are mm-hmm. in there, right? Yeah. So it's a it's a frost free design. Are you I, enjoying the the excess space to freeze things? My wife is absolutely loving it, right? Good. There's a lot of things in there that I don't think need to be in there, mm. right? Like so my wife's been freezing like uh, pre-cut vegetables and things like that, right? Mm-hmm. That she'll cut herself. Okay. So I have a like two gallon bag of cut up onions in there. Right. But when are you going to thaw those onions and eat them? I don't know. Hmm. I don't want them in there, right? Yeah. I think it makes the fridge smell like onions. And yeah. I feel like it's getting into the taste of my other foods in yeah, there as like well. Yeah, like your ice creams oh. and things, yes. the novelties. Yeah, I don't like that. So I might throw a couple of those things out. But other than that, though, I mean, it's served its purpose. We have tons of bread in there, all sorts mm-hmm. of other goodies. Uh, Costco, right? Yeah. It's the place to be, it's man. It's nice when you know you're unfettered. I need to go through and do a deep clean of my deep freeze. 
Yeah. Okay. I open mine up right now. I got a couple boxes of stuff that I don't even know when I bought them. But like the other hmm. day, I found a bag of chicken, yeah, chicken okay. breasts. And Carly goes, I go, oh, we got a bag out in the freezer. I go grab it. Carly goes, when did we buy that? And yeah. I said, oh, I don't know. I looked right. at the date. It was like two years ago. Freezer burn, right? It's been sitting in the freezer for two years. So we said, well, Have you tried making the kids some them. shaved ice with the ice forming on the side? Yeah. Getting I haven't done that yet. I don't want to. <laughs> I don't want to <laughs> show them get because a little, get a little just syrup. one more just thing for Augie to break. Oh, no. Yeah. He's going to be out there himself. Give him a chisel. He's got his own oh, chisel no. and hammer, give, and he will break through that thing so fast. You give that boy an ice pick, dangerous things will happen. Oh, he already found one. He's <laughs> fashioned many of them <laughs> oh, before. No. Dan, you're talking about the kid that stabbed a couch. I know. What's he going to do with an ice pick? Run. Or, Run. or remember his, his, uh, his uh, hunting stick that he made. Oh, right. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, like he, I he knew what he was doing, and that's... I won't yeah, put it concerning. past him for you to walk outside one day to go underneath your pine tree to see that he has a, a, a what's it called, a squirrel on one of those, like, roasters, oh, like a yeah. fire underneath you. Know, it, the, he's too the, gentle. Those, he's He's got a limit. You think so? Yeah, I don't think he could. Yeah, tell that to the couch, how gentle squirrel. he was. Uh, it's an inanimate object. Give him a couple more years. All right. yeah. Glenn here saying, Dane brought the Z, and I brought my high-performance machine. Yeah. That's right. I brought the Z3, yeah. the three-liter. So, yeah. And then, uh, Scott, do you all use a wheel cleaner with iron mover and every time you wash your wheels, or is that an overkill? That's overkill. Overkill. Yep. Mm-hmm. You don't need to do that. I do that probably once every couple months, but not every not time. Not every time, though. David Cervantes says... Is there anyone in the chat that is near Chicago Auto Pros meet? Any good places to eat around there? There has That's to what I'm be saying. a lot of folks anywhere. Pop in, in and uh, reach out to David Cervantes. Yeah, help him out. Uh, Glenn saying, does Kosh make a wheel acid and is it available in the U.S.? So uh, they do make a yep. wheel acid product. They are trying to work on getting it to the U.S., but right now I believe that if they were to get the formulations corrected for the U.S. market. It would probably only be available in a five liter size. Yeah, I mean, is Magic Wheel Cleaner not cutting it? Because that stuff is great. But no, yeah, I mean, yeah, it's... A- acids come in handy when you need them. Okay. Yeah. And Glenn works uh, in details for a living, so okay. there's a Fazal, uh, Levi. Hey, Fizzle. hey, TRC crew, just got a really cool gift from my dad: a battery powered portable pressure washer. Portable. It even came with a foam cannon, and it does a pretty jo- good Dang, job. That's awesome, cool. man. Congrats. Do you have, like, specs yeah. on it? I'm curious what kind of pressure. Yeah, it's pretty cool. Works Hydroshy or Ryobi? Yeah. Mm. Tyler Graff saying, how do you speed in a Honda Element? Well, when you had a Honda Element like Dane's <laughs> with, the, with the Grand Sport stripes on it and the focal wheels. <laughs> they were stock a, wheels that were plastic to watch black. out. Yeah. Are you sure? I thought those were just focals on there. No, they were literally stock wheels, OEM oh, okay. wheels. But yeah. the, thing, the funny thing is that's the joke to me is like of all the cars that i've owned that i could have got a speeding ticket and why did it have to be the box on wheels the element like well, it's because it was fast but i was driving over by lucky p k series in that thing or what yeah, it's a k24 knew. he knew what he had when i was when i was driving past lucky peak you know that area where it starts to change counties mm-hmm. cop was coming the other direction and he caught me right as i was heading back to a campground and i was like one of the only cars on the road and sure enough he just decided wow. yep Gonna well, ruin this it guy's the, day. It was the Grand Sport <laughs> stripes that yeah. stopped him. Yeah, I agree. It was bright orange too, so there was that. Glossy Bear saying, uh, "Going to, I lost it. Oh, going to do my first paint j- touch-up job tomorrow at the with a dealership paint pen." Can you guys give me a quick summary on the process? <clears throat> I'm fixing scratches. Ooh, careful, not paint chips. Less is more, Glossy Bear, and build yeah. your levels. That's it. Yeah, build a little bit at a time, mm. and then go That's, back it's over. It's hard. It's hard, man. Over. Paint touch-up job tomorrow with the dealership paint pen. Yeah. Don't do it like I did with Less is more. <laughs> build it up. I just slobbed it in there. It was yeah. not good. If you can get, if you have some of the little tools, the little touch-up brushes. Well, those touch-up so pens yeah. usually have like a little ceramic thing at no, the end where you the, can scratch the, away no, the no, corrosion no, and no. stuff. No, the pens yeah. are hard. Pens are garbage. Well, yeah, the results are, I've never seen it look good. <laughs> you have to. You, you Doctor Color Chip is the only thing I've seen that actually does a good job. Honestly, at if you look at one of my it. drawers, I have at my house. I have so many different things I use for touch up stuff. Everything from toothpicks to um, I have like uh, lots of different craft brushes that I'll go to the craft store and I get a bunch of different craft brushes at different sizes. And then I also have model brushes and kind of everything in between. Yeah, go to but, a hobby store and get some. But brushes. I would say though, one of the more underrated things is a toothpick for paint touch up. So 
that's something to consider as well. But see what you can do. I mean, you're yeah. not going to know what you're capable of doing <clears throat> until you try it. So give it a shot and yeah. see what happens. Uh, Grant Hawtrey <laughs> says, hands. <laughs> He's just singing <laughs> Sweet Carolina hands. out here. Bop, bop, bop. Go socks. Da, 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 uh, da, da, Darren da. says, I tested tire paint in the UK a few years back, and uh, it lasted six months, not going to lie. I know. They made fun of me for doing it, but in the pinch, under the horrible budget and time constraints we had, I thought I was doing the best thing on that project car. You spray painted your wheels without masking the tires off. And so you spray painted your new tires. Well, no, he went and bought new tires. tires. Then he spray painted the wheels. It was only then he goes. Then we were like, but you just (laughs) bought these tires. Why didn't you just do the wheels first and then spray? Get the tires yeah. replaced. If you need to know one thing about me, it's that I love buying tires. <laughs> yeah. And, <laughs> and ruining my them favorite at the same thing, time. <laughs> my Improving favorite, them, you say? <laughs> my favorite part about him spray painting the wheels was, like, prepping them, right? <laughs> he's like, I need to prep these wheels. And it's like, yeah, dude, all you need to do is just scuff them up a little bit, and you should be good to go. Got it. Scuffs them up, shoots them. Oh, they didn't quite turn out right. I think I'm going to redo them, right? And then it was... <laughs> That's when I... Then it was the <laughs> sandblaster. I brought out 60, aircraft stripper. 60 hours later. They said blades. aircraft stripper and a pressure washer should do it. Well, if you watch the video, I tried that. It worked to a point, but it didn't get everything. That's when I turned to sandblasting with a Harbor Freight sandblaster. Guys, complete with gloves, I can't, goggles. Did you tell yeah, I'd never no, done that before? He had to buy the gloves and the goggles. My favorite part I was, was making just, it up as I went along. I had no expertise whatsoever. Me walking outside... And I'm just walking out there, and I go, Dane, how's everything going? And it's him sitting crisscross applesauce underneath a tree. Destroyed a pair under, of shoes. Underneath a tree <laughs> with, like, a laser blade. Destroyed Brooks with those. And oh. he's just scraping paint just mindlessly. Yeah, that and then, was he, had, and then he got Glenn in on it, And then too. I brought Glenn in on it, and she helped me, and thank and goodness. I'm like, Dane, you thank you, just, Glenn. why don't you just take these down to, like, Hub Cafe and get them sandblasted? Well, guys, it's going to be out of my budget if yeah, I Yeah, my that. budget would have been broken, and then I would have lost. So, of course, they're going to try and encourage me to break my budget and lose. <laughs> Jeff comes out and goes, Dean, how long have you been doing this? You're like, I don't know, like two weeks. And he goes, I will pay you. There, there was literally he a goes, point. He literally you know? goes like 57 hours or so. Yeah. <laughs> there was there was a point that I reached that I was doing that stuff. I was blasting them and I had to repaint them. And in order to meet the time limit for Sydney's car show, I had to do that until about one or two in the morning. And while I was doing that, I got spooked because I was spraying. And then I look up and there's a deer looking right at me in the woods over here right next to the shop. And it was just out of nowhere. I was like, oh, my God, I feel like I'm being watched. I look up and, oh, my God, there's eyes. I <laughs> just, so I just, I've never loved watching somebody work so much more in my life than that moment. And so it was for nothing. Anyway, it was seriously the best time. A, this is <laughs> Take a, good, a break. It's a good breaking point right yes. now. So we are going to jump to a quick commercial break, but then we'll be back <clears> for more <throat> stories and more questions. So we will see you guys here in just a few. Don't go too far. <laughs> You can do any of that stuff. Neither <laughs> did I. Wow. Well, oh. now that you're an actual bartender, yeah. I don't know. I'm thinking maybe whip us up oh, some uh, extra cocktails. Oh yeah. I mean, Dane, do it. I mean, it's my first day, but let me see what I can whip up. Nice. <laughs> <laughs> feedback let me know what you think oh my god this just smells amazing good good all right well levi dane cheers man cheers nice um, cheers. thanks dane oh my god 
God, why, why are you spinning my drink up? I worked hard on that. What is in there? Is, this, is that polymers? My mouth is encapsulating. Why would you even know what polymers taste like? It tastes like chemicals. Did you feed us oh. chemicals? What did you put in this? Oh. I made you a nice drink. Oh. Oh. These are supposed oh. to be nice. Oh, guys, that's my car. What? You hit my car. God, guys, if he didn't want the drinks, he could have just given them back to me or something. Ah, <sighs> dang. Are you seeing that shine over there? Hmm? On the car. Oh my god. Dane, what'd you put in that stuff? What, in your drinks? Yeah. Some water and some absolute. Absolute vodka? No. PNS double black absolute rinseless water. Wait a minute. Are you trying to poison us? Dane! Uh, did you just make us drink rinseless no, water? No, no, no definitely us? didn't do that. Uh, Absolute rinseless wash is not for oral or suppository consumption. It looks pretty good. It does, however, leave a hell of a clean and smooth surface on your vehicle. Wow. PNS Absolute Rinseless Wash. Mix responsibly. Is that, is that something? I mean, it's yeah, pretty good. I'm, I'm kind of enjoying thing? it. I'm kind of so. liking this. Yeah. So just don't drink it. No. Yeah. Okay. Right? Let's make sure we don't don't drink it for the future. But do Dang. put it on cars. Yeah, it's good. It's for cars. Put it on a car. Okay. Not yeah. inside yet. <laughs>
also good vibes. Yeah. Also, I don't know if you guys knew this, uh, they were rated number one hotel in Boise by TripAdvisor. Oh, oh that's, that's very that's prestigious. Pretty, yes. pretty amazing, yes. right? That's, that's great. great. Yeah. Hello, 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 and welcome back to the second half. That's right, the weird <clears throat> half. A Q&A Thursday right here on the Rag Company podcast channel. I was about to say ooh, something else, but ooh. it's a podcast YouTube channel. He's there we go. Yes. He's Levi. He's Anthony. He's Dane. We're covered. This All is the right. fun half. This is where yeah. things get kind of crazy. They do so, get crazy. Uh, I Drop just a got, a, got a text from my wife. Uh, uh, she said, call me during the break. And yeah. uh, basically, pretty funny story was uh, my daughter... She goes, uh, so your daughter's here uh, because she slapped another kid in class. Oh, Oof. my God. Uh, wow. Not in class, but uh, on the re- in recess. Yeah. Unprompted? So I said, oh, tell me more. So Hadley uh, was with a group of sixth graders. And mm-hmm. Augie, who's a third grader, yeah. went cruising up to, you know, say what's up to the older kids. Okay. You yeah. know, and he's pretty good about, you know, talking to them and jiving and rolling with the crew, right? There's this Blending. girl. There's this one girl that Hadley has had some issues with her this year. She's, she's a mean girl. Kind of mean. She's, uh, you know, who knows? Okay. But uh, I know Hadley and her don't get along. She's kind of bullying towards Hadley. Oh. Now, uh, this girl started making fun of Augie. Hmm. And Augie couldn't c- quite keep up with him. Hmm. So he said, I'm going to go sit on the buddy bench, which is where you go sit when, you know, you need a friend or you're feeling kind of sad or down. Okay. And if you're at the buddy bench, someone needs to go sit with you, right? Okay. So he goes, I'm going to go sit at the buddy bench. And that girl goes, good, because that's where you belong. Oh, okay. That's kind Hadley of called for. whips around and straight slaps her. Oh. Nice. You know, Popped what the hands say to the face, hmm. slap. And, Sticking uh, up for a little bro. Yeah, and I said, good for her. Like, I told Carly, I said, great, that's awesome. Like, good for Hadley for sticking <laughs> up for her little brother. <laughs> and uh, she goes, yeah, but I have to deal with all of the fallout now, just so you know. So, Carly, I know you're listening. I know you're watching. I'm so sorry that you have to deal with the fallout Ooh. of this and calling the parents and all that stuff. But, uh, yeah, good job, Hadley. Dang, man, just whack, right? Just, just a... God, her good. A, I, I have a yeah. hunch she won't be doing that again. Well, hopefully, I'm wondering if Hadley did a little bit of this, a little warming up on oh. it, spit on it, just <laughs> give it a good <laughs> give a good smack, or if it was just a, okay. just a you know, uppercut. It's tough at that age, man. The bull <clears throat> bowling thing, it's really tough. You just, you don't... You well, don't you're, really, you you're don't, learning, you don't really, too. Yeah, you're learning about life, right? And, I don't know, it just... School bullies. They're the worst, right? Mm-hmm. Well, that's like middle school age almost. So. Yeah. I just yeah. wish I, I wish I would have I wish I would have could see into the future, mm-hmm. right, when I was a kid. Cause then I would have been like, Hey man, you're the school bully <clears throat> now, but eventually you, things yeah. don't work out. Things don't work out <laughs> for you. For you. Uh, yeah. It's not great, right? And the, but you whatever, you don't know anything. I'm gonna be this, this I'm like, No, you're not. Yeah. Just watch. And you're not. You're, nope. gonna, you're gonna lose all your hair at 23, <laughs> and they go, "What's that supposed to mean?" I go, "Just saying, there's nothing wrong with being bald, but I'm just saying you're gonna, it's gonna wreck you." <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> oh boy! Uh, <laughs> Alex Stewart <laughs> says, uh, "I once followed Dane while I was driving the Flex. <laughs> he was driving the Jag, somewhat spirited. Yet I was thankful he kept pulling over so I could catch up." <laughs> So I, very I look yeah, out for Dane my is, Dane's the one person you cannot stay up. Like, you can't yeah. follow him up a, up a place because he's the guy that goes, <laughs> where I'm going, you won't be able to keep up. Yeah. And we go, really? <laughs> like, the, why, why? And he goes, we're going to the mountains. And we go, you're driving your Jag. Like, I have fun. And, and Glenn also has that sticker yeah. on the back <laughs> of her car. Yeah. You can't, you won't be able to follow me. Yeah, but yeah. she drives over rocks. But, if yeah. I did that, I'd right. be Right, but that's what's so confusing <laughs> about it, is we usually are able to keep up with you on stuff. I mean, sometimes past sure. Sometimes past we drive you. past you because <clears throat> you're stuck doing the speed limit. Yeah. <laughs> uh, next up here we have... Boom. David, who David. says, Dane just shouldn't be allowed near the suspension components of now, his vehicle. That's why I he doesn't do them himself. I, he I has others do it. With that a little bit, because I've never had suspension issues. I bought cars with bad suspension and fixed it, but I haven't He's done also anything done his own that's alignments. Like bad or reprehensible about suspension. All that stuff is just things that 
were being fixed. And in the end, ultimately, great experience. So wheels, though, I get you on wheels. Wheels, I, I'm not so great at uh, painting those as we know we're prepping them. Let's leave that to the professionals. Um, yeah, so next up, we have Eddie saying, yeah, he did. And guy is a goat in reference to, I'm not sure, but yeah, no. Jojo Crawdaddy. Wynn is a leader of goof and stock. Um, I think it's coming. I think it's coming this month. I believe or this month or May. <clears throat> I know it's on the way. Yeah, that's all I can and then, say. Uh, Glenn I saying he's down to do that picture. He'd go do that. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> nice. heck yeah, man. Yeah, I like it. Jojo with the repeat. When is it in stock? Not sure. And then Eddie Cologne saying, "Tell me about V5 of O and R. Is it like the O and R of old, or is it the is it?" Or is it a new sticker? It is a new sticker. V5 is a full, fresh revision. However, if you mean like the actual logo, it's the same. The only but way you can tell it apart is that little It's got sticker. a gold sticker that says version 5. They used to it. say new formula, but in this case, it says 5 on it. Yeah. So you got to make sure if you it's want like that revision one. Revision 5 or something. Say five. Which technically <clears throat> we don't have for a while. Yeah, so we won't have it for a while. It's going to so be a minute. Just keep that in mind. So there's a couple things here. We did order some. If you are scared of the new version of O&R, then you can buy all the old, buy the existing yeah. O&R that we sure. have. If you're excited about the new O&R, you can wait until we have that in stock. But um, long story short, it's not, it is O&R still, yeah. right? But when you've used O&R as much as we have, we can absolutely feel the improvements. We the can nuance. see the improvements. It's all that stuff that we, because we've done it so much. So I can tell you it is an improvement. Um, but you just, you just, if it's your first time, yeah, you wouldn't just, know. You're going to be like, cool. Yeah. You're <clears> like, this is cool. But you, otherwise you won't know. It's a good experience either way. Yeah. <laughs> um, ah, so thank you, Larry, Naval for Academy. clearing that up for me. So that's uh -huh. a Naval Academy in Annapolis. Thank yeah. you. Um, all right. Next up. Oh, we've got a few there. I'm cutting over to page four. Oh, Joey Belinsky. Here we go. Crisp white T, sometimes V, sometimes crew neck, jeans and a converse. <laughs> Is my standard uniform solution package. Joey, you might be a might be a fan of John yeah. Varvatos by John Varvatos. Check it out. Maybe yeah. he's actually yeah. Reacher. Randy yeah. Ricochet says, "Hey uh, everyone, no, Ulysses was oh. getting the garage finished up. Oh, nice yep. man, nice. keep Do going, it. you're doing <laughs> it." And now Randy Ricochet says, "Hi everyone, I finally have an opportunity to tune in live for a bit. Randy, we're glad to have glad you. To have you you could have joined us. We got uh, Humberto greeting more people. Thank you, Humberto. Yep. And there it's saying, "Ow, the brown <laughs> towel has to be my favorite color too." Mm -hmm. Using them with buffing and quick detailers this mm -hmm. week. Nice. Enjoy. And, and Tim Jennings is letting you know that the Naval Academy is in Annapolis, Dane. Thank you. I just knew something important was there, yeah. and it was some kind of institution. I couldn't remember which. So thank uh, you. And then Grant picked up a new car for the missus Ooh. when she gets out of Anthony's uh, upper area. No, I don't, have, area. I don't have her in my upper area. Oh, just his children? Oh, wait a second. I thought he had his wife and children. I don't what this he is got, Grant's, This is Grant's wife. It's I don't, like, I don't Where's you don't know if you have his wife up there anymore? I don't know. They don't look the same <laughs> anymore as I first put them in. So I can't tell who's she who. a ghoul? What? Is she a ghoul? They all what? kind of look like <laughs> Oh, that. no. But Grant says he picked up a new cool. car for the missus. 2000 spec C S15. Oh, my God. Mm -hmm. And I'm fitting some freshly coated 18 by 8.5 Koenig Ampliforms, Ampliforms and gloss bronze nice. wrapped in Nankangs See, NS20. That's what I'm thinking, getting some Koenig Ampliforms and gloss bronze for the Fusion. Really? Yeah. yeah. That would go pretty but hard. I gotta let, I'm letting Carly pick. Did yeah. you put the Nankangs on there because you plan on burning them off because it's a drift machine? I don't know. I, just, I don't think you should put them on Carly's car. I think you should put them on a car that you are going to be building next. Mm. Well, I'm going to do that, too. I, I think like a cop car. I'm that going to do that, sick. too. I will do that, too. Just saying. Just saying. A former police interceptor, auction special, something mm -hmm. like that. I don't know. But, um, <clears throat> Grant, that's awesome, dude. I'm very – I'm jealous of the missus' vehicle. Absolutely. Yeah. We still can't get those. Yeah. And I think Jimmy, <laughs> Jimmy is a little jealous as yeah, well. Yeah, for sure. Jeff C. says, regarding wash clay seal process, could one wash in clay with absolute and then immediately seal with defender? Yes. Yeah, I think so. You could totally do that. Yeah. Because absolute doesn't have, mm -hmm. like, protection that's going to get in the yeah. way. Yeah. Ulysses. Saying, what's up, bro, Chacho? Uh -huh. Melissa saying, any thoughts to boat to a boat detail or resto on the main channel? Um, we so have done some stuff. We've done some, but... We don't do enough boats here, Melissa, so um, it's kind of hard for us to get a lot of boat content. What, what we need to do, in order for <clears> us <throat> to probably get completely engulfed with boat content, yeah, 
we probably all need boats and we probably all need vehicles to haul our boats. Would you be more passionate about a boat if you had one? No, because I can't swim. Oh, that's true. That takes that out of Yeah, that's kind of Dane, a what about you? Factor. Are you a boat guy? I can absolutely swim. I've driven plenty of boats. I'm a big fan of jet skis. That's what Dane's really? getting next. Jet skis, y'all. But I... Towing them behind the flex. The flex could tow. If I was mm-hmm. going to do something like that, I wouldn't want to deal with the just maintenance about, of a full boat. But a jet ski, jet I'd be skis open to. In that open bay that you've got on the side of your house there. Ooh. Just pulling them in there, Ooh. putting a car cover over them. It's not a bad spot. Living for there, that. you get his and hers. Honda one for Civic you, one for... a Honda jet ski. You could do yeah. that. Pretty cool, right? Yeah. Pretty hard. My buddy JJ used to do that with his Integra. Really? He had a four door <laughs> Integra with a GSR motor in it. Yeah. Take the and family. He would had had a little hitch on the back, yeah. and he would tow his one jet ski. That's the way to do it, man. To the lake, and then he'd take his kids one at a time on the jet ski while the other one stayed on the beach. So when he's going down yeah. the boat ramp, was he a little freaked out every time he went to no, drop that off? It, it in. seems like it might be a that little That guy drives that huge MVP truck. He's going to be oh, working okay. across the next door yeah. with us, and he's going to be having right. a, he's going to be telling you all kinds of these crazy stories. Okay. Well, I'm looking uh, forward to it. Oh, my gosh. we got Jack here in the comments. Hey, hey Jack. Hey. A man of fame here says, uh, Evening Chaps, Anthony, loving the wardrobe. Thank you very much. This is very my, nice. uh, one of my limited edition Stare in a Gloss yeah, hoodies Yeah, you just like stole that. That you I out really of there. did steal when we were over in the United Kingdom. I like this one because it's gray with the gold letters on it. Um, Jack makes awesome hoodies, mm-hmm. man. Nice. Uh, check out Stare in a Gloss. Love it. Check out their website because uh, you we, we, don't, we don't sell their sweet gear like this. Right. But Jack does. I will I say the hoodies that he ship. brought this recent time. Amazing. Amazing. I know. I need a bigger one, but they are amazing. The color sits up like a little tighter around the neck, oh, I love but that. I kind of like that. No, like, I love it's that. It's very it's secure, like, like in cold weather and stuff. Hugging you. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Whereas this yeah. one is like a little more open. So on a warmer day, I kind of prefer it's on a little yeah. looser. Heck yeah, man. Yeah. We have Alex that says Hill Road Ice Novelties <laughs> is Dane's <laughs> summertime gig. Oh, I think yes. that sounds great. Cause a lot of accidents based mm-hmm. on Dane's location. <clears throat> that yeah. could be problematic. Uh, <laughs> Alex Quit saying, Anthony, right. update on the sous vide. Still loving oh. it or collecting dust? Holy crap, mm. Alex. I was hoping nobody would ever bring this up <laughs> ever again. Oh, boy. I got to be honest with you guys. I've used that sous vide like three times. Oh, and no. two of the times were just kind of a waste. Like, I shouldn't have done that. Um, you and a I, bunch of other people, I imagine. I, so I love the idea of the sous vide. I love it. I think it's an amazing idea. I don't plan ahead my food that, that far along to be like, okay, this meat is going to soak for like an hour before I cook it. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I just go, give me the meat. Yeah. Let me slap want, that on the grill. You want 14 minutes on the grill. Well, like, what Four, about special Seven occasions. on each side. Special occasions. A little I, butter, I go, I go, a little kosher salt, a little worth black the pepper. 40 minutes of prep right. or however long of yeah. prep I had yeah. to make this taste I think I could, marginally I think better? I could make a steak taste better doing my method than doing a sous vide. And then the other thing, too, I was telling my wife, I said, hey, well, what if I started sous vide chicken? She goes, why don't you just boil chicken? <laughs> yeah, why don't you just and boil I it? I said... How very British of you. That's a good point. I don't know. <laughs> I, I guess I would just boil the chicken. I think... I don't know. I'm running out of ideas on what no. I can sous vide, right? I don't know what else... I, I can mean, throw in there. Otherwise, you're sitting there tenderizing that meat for who knows how long. Well, Dude, you're pretty good at that. I you're am, good but at I don't. I don't, you're I don't know what the heck else no. I could put in there. And all I know is I'm kind of at a, I'm at a standstill with that $150 sous vide machine. I go, mm-hmm. dang. See, I feel like some people get air fryers in much the oh. same way, but you use your air fryer. My some air people fryer, buy them and then they just never use my them. My air fryer is literally, it is a... Oh, it's it, a it's running. Ours is always running. It's running okay. 24-7. Mm-hmm. That is what keeps my family alive. Is yeah, that that's the sustenance right I've been, there. I've been teaching Augie how to use the air fryer. He made fries himself yesterday. Oh, damn. Did he? Or the day before yesterday. It's, dude, the air fryer, it is life. Yeah. It is. It keeps wow. life going. His so. favorite thing is being able to buy the the branded fries like okay. red robin or uh, checkers or any of those that's like his thing he feels like he's a real restaurateur <laughs> wow when he's cooking up some red robin fries for the neighborhood kids all right uh carly saying uh <laughs> i am usually able to steal levi's hoodies easily but he's been extremely possessive of his stiarna gloss hoodie to jack yes yeah and is, then uh, yeah and then um everybody's saying hello <laughs> and then uh han saying Carly, if you steal Levi's hoodie, I might hunt you down and steal it from you. And she says, <laughs> Franco says, squirrel on a stick, WTF. And then Carly says, Hans, money talks, my friend. 
Oh, oh no. Oh. Carly's figuring out how Better to sell keep some. Close eye on that thing. Sell some of my hoodies. Uh, Ron <laughs> saying, hello, hello. Spent two days cleaning fire trucks at the fire academy. Oh, nice, Ron. Nice. nice. Great job. <laughs> then Franco saying, what's up? And what's then up? everybody saying hello to Carly. Everybody. And Han says, how about money and real Dutch stroopwafels? Oh, my wow. gosh. Yeah. Real, real, <laughs> Dutch. real, real so Dutch. Specify that, yeah. Yeah. And then uh, uh, Ron asking, would Carly be the... <laughs> Mistress of Shine nice. and Alex saying Mrs. MOS in the house. <laughs> and Carly saying, hi, Humberto. What's up, Alex Hans? You had me at Stroop Waffles. <laughs> and then uh, Harry Housewife. I have a cordless pressure washer from a company called Greenworks. Puts mm. out about 70 bars of pressure. Works really well. Have a video on the channel. Clean to BMW on the side of the road. Very nice. nice. 70 okay. bar in PSI. Yeah. That's quite a bit. It is yeah. a lot. Yeah, so I need to be careful. Carly might steal all my hoodies and sell them to Hans. You got to throw like some air tags and that stuff. Yeah. So if it runs away, you can track it down. That's all right. I mean, we might need to make some money on okay, the side. Okay. That could work. Hmm. Uh, Pedro saying Stiarna gloss forced and snow are great. Never pre-washed before, but now part of my process and makes the contact wash easier now. Nice. No. There you go. That's oh, great. No. Look at all these people writing back to Jack. Now, <laughs> Joey saying, I think we scared Jack. Probably. Uh, Glenn says, wheel acid does come handy, come in handy in different <clears throat> situations. Yes. Yeah. Especially for water spot removal. Yeah. <laughs> Alex says he's free to come down and paint some wheels. Nice. Oh, boy. All right. We're back to page three. Joey says, I hope that Home to Sweets <laughs> commercial's next. And then, uh, he who shall remain nameless. Mm. Are any of the water spot removers leave I mentioned better than any uh, than another for glass? I tried the clay towel on them without my success. I got some Clarity Cream in my TRC order just in case. Clarity Cream is going to be your best on glass. Um, you can also add, uh, do a little, um, do a little, uh, mm, quad out steel wool oh right yeah mixed yeah. in on some of the harder ones so if you try it with just a towel and some clarity cream or even on a buffer and you can't get it you can bump up to the next step which would be quad out steel wool but make sure it's four quad zero out. yeah it's got uh, four you zeros. can get away with double out but if you want to be really safe quad out's the softest yeah. uh, so. any thoughts on removing the spots uh, from the chrome window trim? same thing clarity cream on a towel yeah, just, yeah. And rub it. I know do. in some of our videos, you have used the quad dot mixed with compound on it, like the last mm -hmm. cut mm -hmm. compound. Yeah. That also works. Do that often. Yeah. Pedro says, uh, David Serrano is the options are endless, but a must uh, <laughs> is Chicago deep dish pizza. Oh, of course. Street tacos and Italian beef and roast pork sandwiches. <gasps> All so of that I'm, sounds ooh, wonderful. I'm definitely going to get myself some beef sandwiches, right? Yeah. Pork sandwiches, anything beef like witches. that. Probably going to stay away from the Chicago deep dish. Just for my stomach sakes, right? I mean, that's lasagna disguised as pizza. Yeah, I just, on those road trips like that, when a bathroom is not always Available. near, I just don't want to take that risk, right? Well, we don't have a rental car this time, so we're kind of at the mercy of others. We are. I might, I might have to carry a bucket with Beware me. Sterling Gloss says, <laughs> Carly Gates, I will I will sort a hoodie no problem oh, at thank all. Thank you, Jack. Oh, there he is. Wow. <laughs> and then Glenn saying, uh, try very fine steel wool. And glass yep. cleaner, it's a bit old school method, but works for me. Yep. It does work. And Eddie, they put the disclaimer for me on Eddie. Uh, and then Franco saying Eddie. And then uh, Jack saying, sorry, I didn't go. So I was just listening <laughs> intently. Uh, and oh. <laughs> Franco, how's the celebrity death match going with Jamie? Has not been announced yet. Uh, Jack saying, forced is the goat. And yes, I aware that's arrogant, but I just love it. It, it is so honestly good. my favorite favorite one to do as well yeah, don't sleep on uh, and then he says also i don't know how to tag people in my replies you just tag at and their name the handle although youtube can be a little yeah. tricky with that it doesn't that's, always link it you just got to remember yeah, yeah that, that's how you do it so, at, yeah. name. Heck, so mine that doesn't work for me whenever i go to at somebody and then type i tried several name, times and had mixed yeah mine results. does the same it doesn't work like yeah that. so i don't so p some people are able to really yeah. get it get it easy yeah oh Oh. Uh, so what do we got here? So at plus, at plus, it's at East Coast. Uh, the old gate slap, 125-year-old <laughs> developed skill. It is. It yeah. 125 Some, it's years something that other, it. yeah. the other 125 generations can feel. Yeah, but uh, Eddie says, <laughs> oh. uh, Eddie said, Levi, she deserves to take her, he, she deserved it, take her out for ice cream for Hadley. <laughs> yep, not a problem. Yep. And then he said, hashtag, she deserves ice cream. Franco, Stiana Gloss. I got that big jug of force. What's a good dilution when I don't need it full strength? Franco, mm. uh, I do at home, I do four to one. Okay. Yeah. Out of there. So I mark four to one on my uh, bottle and I just put a black mark and I just fill it with 
forced to there, and then I fill the rest with water. Mm. Yeah. Alex, what's not to love about Augie? Literally the coolest kid. <laughs> All right, back to page Yesterday two. he was complaining about how uh, he didn't like that we had so much German chocolate oh. at our house. Hmm. Hmm. And I said, why? He goes, it's just not satisfying me anymore. Wow. And I said, really? And then he goes, I need something different for a snack. And I said, okay. So you know what he did? Hmm. Lars got us these Cheeto puffs. Like they're, they're like puffs, like a, <sighs> like a Cheeto puff, okay. right? But they're peanut flavored. Oh my gosh. Huh. So they taste like a peanut butter puff. Sounds delicious. So Augie took I mean, that bag. A, Reese's cereal is basically that. Dosum. And he took that bag and he walked over and grabbed a jar of Nutella. Oh, my oh, God. Wow. Oh, no. And took a f- knife and he's like dusting and dabbing the top of this puff with <laughs> Nutella. And he oh. walks over to He takes one and he's like. Oh, this is amazing. A delicacy. And then he goes, he goes, would you like one? And I said, sure, I'll try one. And so he makes me one. <laughs> he comes over and hands it to me. I ate. I was like, oh, that's pretty good. I want another one of those. <laughs> and he goes, okay. And so he just sat there and we watched Smoking the Bandit 2 for about 10 minutes. He's, he's, and he's just, just making me some chocolate covered. Wow. Uh, what are the puffs. odds in his little he brain? He was doing it his, himself. He was there like, was like a great. business mind going, oh. like, maybe I can monetize oh, this. Is. Yeah. Like, he seems like the guy who would do that. He would, like, probably go stick that Nutella out and make <laughs> it melt so he can make for easier dipping. Probably. I just find it funny. He developed a tolerance, and now he's like, ah, I'm hitting a wall. I got I to gotta <laughs> yeah, get something stronger. I need yeah. the good stuff. It's like, Give it's me like the good stuff. Chocolate's just not doing it for me. <laughs> Wow. Oh, no. That was great. Uh, Han says, good thing didn't fist bump her face. Don't mess with the gates. And Franco, oh, Lord, master a slap. And then Grant Hadley and that girl need to settle it in a monkey knife fight. Oh, my God. What the? Joey, my garage looks like a Stiarnaglas store. Nice. Uh, and then Pedro, Jack, when you create the goat pre-treat spray, not being arrogant, just nah, you just know what is... Great. What is great and agree. Got it during TRCMA. Used it last weekend. Love it. Now five liters on order. Nice. Good work, Pedro. Got him. And then Joey saying, uh, Silky's a nice dry aid. Sometimes I just spray it around the garage because it smells so nice. That's that's a perfect mm-hmm. way to use it. And then Adam, happy Friday Eve, guys. Hey. I have some tires that I've cleaned multiple times with forced. Every cleaner I have. They appear clean until dry. Then that blooming reappears. Any ideas or nuclear options? Are you using a brush? Ooh. Ooh. Brush is it. You got to scrub brush. it. You got to spray it. You got to scrub it. Yep. You got to spray it. You got to scrub it. Sometimes it takes more than just one. Honestly, so Adam, we have a video I did on um, off-road wheels on how to clean and dress off-road wheels. I talk exactly about how much you have to keep scrubbing until that browning disappears. And I think that's a video she should check out. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Okay. Eddie Clone says, uh, Joey Belinsky and a rinseless guy. Uh, I'm a rinseless guy. I don't know what a drying aid is. <laughs> Ooh. You have much to learn, Padawan. Oh my gosh, this is crazy. <laughs> this is this is insane. Um, they're both talking about rinseless and washing. And then Joey Blinsky says, "My wife won't <laughs> won't let me get her a new car unless it's an old school Bronco." But I've already, but I've ar- I've spent all that money at TRC. So yeah, my wife. So said what you're saying is we helped you. Yeah, mm-hmm. my wife said the same thing. Hmm. So. She wants an old old school Bronco. Yeah, or an old FJ. Okay. Oh, really? Yeah. Like, she want in, like, a OJ Bronco style? No, she wants, like, a 60s Bronco, like an mm. original okay. first-gen Bronco. Yeah, it was, was a slightly skirted rear wheel was the, was the Was the OJ Bronco, was that a Bronco, too? Or is no, that no, no. That was a 96, or, sorry, a 94 Bronco. Oh, so that like that was the final body style. Which is what people still liked, right? It was like a f- I like them a lot, but they're kind of, they're weird. They're, they're almost big. as wide as they are long. It's yeah. kind of silly. Hmm. Yeah. But it's like an F-150 that just got squinched. Mm-hmm. Uh, Boats yeah, and bros. Going. There you go. Boats and bros. Uh, Boats and Grant bros. saying, Sup, bro, Chacho will post pics of the S15 in the TRC group when it's done. Thank you, Grant. Please do. And Tag Jimmy. <laughs> All right. Next wash vid, Levi in arm flow days washing a kayak. Yeah, probably sink yeah, then, right even now. with that. Well, you mm-hmm. know, you got to protect those kayaks. All right, Alex. Elementary school kids shouldn't mess with a daughter of whose father owns a heartbeat of America 8.1 liter bourbon, who's also friends with a second gen Ram owner with a 318 5.2 liter. Kid doesn't know what's up. I know. That's the thing, man, yeah. dude. I mean, we, we, we will let those V8s we'll bring them run right? up. We'll drive them right onto the parking, right into the, in the playground. <laughs> yeah. You rev, them up, rev them up. <laughs> I don't want to run the kids over, but I mean, I do want to. No, we wouldn't run them over. We want to scare them. Yeah, right? we're revving them up. Rev them up. V8s, yeah. yeah. 
Yeah. Nothing scares a kid I, faster. I, what I would like to do is preferably you're driving the Suburban. I'm standing on top on the roof rack, right? Hang I, on. No, I have a giant speaker behind me. Okay. Oh and I got a guitar. Right? So he's a that doof shoot, warrior. That shoots fire out of the mm-hmm. end of that, right? Yeah. And so I'm going to be like laying down some sweet bars, right? Yeah. And it's going to be sweet. And then oh, I'm okay. going to fight the kids as yeah. a guy on the top of the roof swinging around with this fiery guitar. He's I called like the that. doof warrior. It's not, it's not necessarily a scene out of Mad Max, but it's kind of similar close. to yeah, it's a pretty closer. close what they're yeah. wanting to do. Yeah. I was hoping that maybe it would be like, you know, I'd be coming in in the Suburban. Mm-hmm. You'd be in the Ram, yeah. and you'd have Dane mm. riding in the back of the bed, uh-huh. holding on to the back window, because the back slider window's open. Mm-hmm. He's, he's holding on. But yeah. he's got a flag. Okay. Yeah, fine. You know, fine. And he's he's yelling. Yeah. Maybe maybe in my other hand I have an aerosol can I'm threatening to paint things. Yeah. Like that would scare him. Problem tire is you get paint. overspray all over so he, Anthony's no, truck he, though. No, he, well, he'd so take the tire paint, he shoots it on his teeth, right? Yeah. And he goes <laughs> Shiny like, and crows. He goes, yeah. yeah, to Valhalla. And he says, right? witness. Witness, witness me, me, right? And I go, Dean, that's tire paint. You don't yeah. want to spray well, that in your mouth. Not it's the same. Safe. It's not the same. It yeah. doesn't look as cool. It's just going to black. <laughs> this this yeah. isn't cool anymore. Tom um, uh, Tom Chingone. Tom Chicago. Saying, uh, great job, guys. Have a wonderful rest of your week. Thank you, man. Appreciate you tuning in. Thank David you. Cervantes, what's the most you guys have spent on a dinner? I just ordered from oh. a barbecue joint, and I spent like 70 bucks with tip. So, David, oh. with my wife and I, we've we had... I don't want to answer this question. <laughs> we had, I'm kind of so, yeah, <laughs> so once I had, when I had my shop, I had uh, my old partners gave me a hundred dollar bill one mm-hmm. day and just said, "Take your wife out to dinner yeah. with that hundred dollar bill." That, well, that's a nice. That's a nice gesture. Yeah. yeah, it was very nice of them. And so Carly and I struggled mm-hmm. to spend that hundred dollars, and we went to Texas Roadhouse. And we spent like sixty five dollars of it. And you and you ate like kings, didn't we you? We ate like wow. kings because Texas Roadhouse is a great value. When yeah, you really I mean, look yeah. At it was what amazing. We were like, that was awesome. Bread rolls, steak, yeah. all that. They were like, go to Chandler's, go to go to Ruth's Chris, and we were like, Ruth's Chris, Chris had just opened, so it was super packed and always busy. And we were like, eh, I don't really want to go. It's there. It's very easy to spend too much. There, and though. Chandler's is too foo foo and fancy mm. for me. I'm not. I'm not that kind of guy. And neither is my wife. No. We'd gone to like once when Angels was open back in the day. We went to Angels and they brought out a copper plate as their menu. Mm-hmm. And they said, here's our menu. And I said, this is just an etched copper plate. <laughs> mm-hmm. And it's got stuff on it that doesn't make sense to me. And those things don't go together. It's just how yeah. bougie it is. Yeah. And she looked at it too and said, I don't like any of these things on here. And so we left and we went to a sandwich shop and had there a delightful dinner. So I'm with you, David. I am not a fancy kind of gentleman who's going to look for the most expensive thing. Right. I want a good value, and I want to be full afterwards. Sure. Yeah. That's what I'm looking for. I, I, so if I, it means going yeah. to Red Robin and getting an extra patty on my burger, yeah, you know, I get that. Nothing wrong I'm going to do that. that, and I'm going to eat good. Yeah, I get yeah. that. Dane, what about you? <laughs> <laughs> Say it. Um, Say it, Dane. Okay. So, you know, spent? there was a while there where I was dating and uh, I did not hold back. Mm, uh, and really? that was not good because I the really, truthfully, at Dane. the time, Dane. I really wasn't making enough money to justify yeah, the prepaid. expense of some of yeah, those the days. the prepaid card. See that? Say, Glenn, <laughs> um, can we get a camera up there? Oh, boy. Can we get a camera oh, up no. to the road? Yeah. To the, what, what, oh, what, oh, oh wow. She had it programmed in there. Look how so, fast that was. So we are, uh, so we, I'm envisioning it's top left Dane <sighs> oh, yeah, right in the there. Suit. Oh, top no. left Dane in the suit going out to some bougie dinners. Right? I did not have the frosted tips. Picking is up. that a polo shirt you're wearing under there? Or is that an actual so, button up dress shirt? What, so that is, that I want to know what were you, what were you, what were you picking up all these different women in? Nice was it a, the SVX <laughs> or was yeah, it, there was, there, was, a it time was the element? There was the SVX or there was the, the element, uh, you know, that's just, it though. You, you imagine, I imagine that guy pulling up in the Jaguar. I did too. I did not have the Jaguar at <laughs> yeah. the time, but so, uh, no, so I, you're, so you're picking up all these different girls, all like, Maybe like fifty or six different girls, and it was in. <laughs> it was oh in my a god! Oh, no. <laughs> Did you sometimes uh, pick them up? Who's your name? I am up at the same time. We're no, doing. Like, a, I got room for we're, three. We're doing a group date tonight, girls. Yeah. Man, oh, no. Maybe I, four if you squeeze. Okay, so in all seriousness, <sighs> so there was a time where you were going out mm-hmm. and. You didn't hold back, but you didn't have the money to like 
be able I, to make it I could happen. afford it, but just barely. Okay. <laughs> and so. it was not it was not an intelligent choice. It was just a... You're I really impress this girl with I your would, wealth, but that's not nobody's. Nobody's impressed good, when you like stretch yourself time. thin. It's not impressive. Yeah, yeah. like they can clearly tell. So yeah. in, in that case, it was just I wanted to go to a place where you're going to enjoy. It. And I think it was sushi, and I think I spent somewhere close to 180 bucks. Wow. So I had I had a similar story to that. But the thing is, I'm going to. I don't eat sushi, yeah. so I'm, I'm going to probably blow you guys out of the water with okay. this. Honestly, I didn't know it was this much. I didn't know it was this expensive. But it was. This is actually just my anniversary. Just about mm-hmm. two years ago, um, I think it was our first anniversary. Yeah. Me and Katie, we went to. Um, uh, there we go. It's not what I looked like for my first anniversary. <laughs> <laughs> I'll tell you that right now. <laughs> um, marriage does change the way you look, right? You get comfortable. You're, you're, you're comfy and happy. <laughs> um, but uh, no, it was uh, yeah, our first anniversary. We went to Ruth's Chris, right? Because yeah. we thought we thought, hey, we're gonna have fun. Yeah. We're gonna go get a. Hotel for like two days. We're gonna go. Ex- I think I even told this. You did. You did the, you the said, whole thing. We're gonna go explore. We're gonna go eat d- food and dinner and all this stuff. Um, I remember that we had gotten that bill from Ruth's Chris, and fortunately, I think I believe Katie's father. That was like our gift was helping yeah. for your dinner. Man, I want to say that that bill was like five hundred and fifty dollars or something ooh. like that for one for one dinner. And how many all, appetizers did you guys get? That's the thing. We had, <laughs> so we had gotten two appetizers. It was like two or three appetizers, but like the small things, right? Where they bring out like two prawns, right? And you're like, how much are these two prawns? Thirty dollars. Where the less you get, why? the more expensive it is yeah, because why the presentation is, it $30? is everything. Yeah. Yeah. Prawns. See, I cannot big. abide that. It's I know. Pretentious. But because you, you've eliminated seafood out of your diet, which that too. which also saves you an incredible amount of money. Mm-hmm. But I and really, alcohol. It insists upon it. Like, I think, like, my steak was what? What are they? Well, my, steak, my steak itself. was, like, 65 bucks, right? Her steak was, like, It's like eating, like, a cow 50. with the skin still attached. But what, oh, what happened, though, Peel is they said, hey, they said, hey, what do you want to drink? Mm-hmm. And we said, oh, we'll get a bottle of wine, mm-hmm. right? Oh, and, bottle. And we, and we said, okay, like, like what, what are you looking for? We don't know. I don't know what the heck good wine is. I no. literally, they bring something You're out to me for guy. me to smell it. And <laughs> I'm like listening to it. And I go, I don't really know. I don't, I can't hear any difference here. It's, yeah. you know, it sounds You're like good wine. Tapping your fork on the bottle. And um, <laughs> so he'd ask me, hey, do you, want, okay. do you want, do you want to go cheap? Do you want to go nice? And I think we screwed up by saying, nice. no, we want to go somewhere right in the middle. Oh, right. Mm, should have said cheap. The middle <laughs> is yeah. a vast mm-hmm. middle. Right. Yeah. So I think when we got that bill, I literally, my heart dropped. And, um, but then we had found out that, Hey, don't, you don't, don't have to worry about it. Your father-in-law yeah. called in and paid. And I looked at Katie and I said, good God. We need to do something nice for him, yeah. obviously. Oh, no. Let's have him watch our kid. Let, yeah, let's have him watch our kid <laughs> as often as he can. As often as he can oh, for free. No. For free. To make up for that dinner we ate. To make up for that dinner. So, <laughs> That's intense. Anyways, yeah, I would say my most expensive dinner That's was impressive, like 500 yeah. and something dollars. Yeah. And um, yeah, I won't do that ever again, all, I don't All think. I know is with the inflation of everything going on, that, that would be even more today by a good margin. Yeah, because this was this mm-hmm. was, 20, uh, it was it was 2020 is when we went on our first anniversary okay. dinner there. But um, I will say, though, that yeah, that is – got to experience a nice dinner, fancy dinner once. Sure. But if we were to go back there again for another anniversary, we would be going there during happy hour, mm-hmm. and we would be getting one drink – and like sharing a steak and then bouncing. Yeah. Uh, Joey says use the sous vide <laughs> so you can keep your rinseless warm in the winter. Problem solved. Now that Probably that's actually well. what we've yeah, and that's what we've seen the PPF people are doing yeah. now is using the sous vide machines to to yep. keep their water warm. Yeah, so throw it in your Yeti bucket. Yeah, keep it nice. All right, on to page two. Alex says sugar's just skyrocket, but totally worth it. Gates snacks. Nice. That's right. Uh, Tom Chingone saying, when using Uno Advanced or Uno Protect, should you prep the panel first? Uh, you don't have to, but you can if you'd like to. All right. Uh, Larry says, David, good barbecue ain't cheap and cheap barbecue ain't good. Yeah. I've had bad barbecue. Oh. It's surprising when it looks the same and then you bite into it and you go, this is not remotely. Yeah. Yeah. It's underwhelming. And then uh, <clears throat> the one. Dane, I want a Ra- Wave Runner too, but it's more fun with friends come sure. on out to massachusetts and we can go jet skiing in buzzards bay buzzards bay what that do you think like, about that fun? sounds like a good like, time what do you think yeah. about that dane sounds, i mean i'm like i'm all for it no i've i've had fun yeah doing the whole buddy on jet skis thing it, it's a lot of fun it is so there yeah, you go. give it a try sorry you can't swim maybe we can teach you oh we got franco the special guest david hasselhoff absolutely <laughs> david's friday says 
Uh, straight up boiled chicken is just too rubbery <laughs> for me. Does sous vide not make it rubbery? I have no idea. From what I've read, it doesn't make it rubbery. <clears throat> Sounds like you can just no, pan, it's like pull apart. You just pan sear it after you're done sous viding it. But I don't. You, but have you ever felt sous vide water? It's not hot. Yeah, it's, it's not hot. It's, it's like just, 160 yeah. degrees. It's just a nice shower. It's just like it's like a warm bathtub. Mm-hmm. Yep. Like a like a hottish warm bathtub. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. Uh, Maybe Hans, that's what you do. You just stick it in a bag in your hot, warm bathtub. Yeah, Franco <laughs> said special guest David Hasselhoff, and then <laughs> Hans said don't hire Pamela. And then uh, Kirby says, hey, Levi, Dane, Anthony. Hey. Back from the dental hygienist just Ooh, now welcome. and tuned hope, in. Hope you're feeling nice. fresh. He's got his Shit. teeth detailed. Nice. Yeah, some teeth. Thanks, Levi, for the hint on the sticky dash product for the uh-huh. camera. You're welcome, Kirby. Nice. I sent him a, a link to a company that fixes sticky dashes by oh. giving you two-part product. Oh, wow. Because of the glue that, like, seeps yeah. through that top layer in the manufacturing, so it makes it sticky, all the heat yeah. cycles. I felt one before the bad. Yeah. And he's Is, like, I'm I'm trying to deal with this one that I've been working on for a customer, and I always hate – it's always sticky out. I fix yeah. that. And this said – this is a product that <clears throat> changes it, like, so that it doesn't make it sticky anymore. It hardens it. Mm-hmm. Is there so. a solution for, like, sticky buttons in cars? Because I know some of them get those sticky buttons. <laughs> okay. Maybe no, clean seriously, the, like a lot of it I know seems to be material in the luxury button? cars in particular. Is it seem to cleaning run into the hit. button? No, no, it's not even simply cleaning. It's literally the buttons just get sticky with time. Probably cleaning them. No, I get all know that what you're saying. Off. He knows know what, what I'm talking saying. about. I've, I've, I've never felt, felt a, a very rare occurrence of a sticky button. Never like felt Ferraris a, complain about it. Some Jaguars, mm. newer ones, seem to run into it. Some mm. Lexuses have them. Depending on all very high end cars. It's usually I don't touch those. Have that work on a lot of high end cars. You guys know I'm talking about a real thing. Ford. Don't guess uh, like me. Harry Horace <laughs> wife says uh, sous vide pork. Yeah, yeah, probably. Yeah, fine. Then Franco, yeah. sous vide chicken is the greatest, but yeah, anything sous vide is a hassle. It is. It's a little more. Uh, David says, don't worry, Anthony, I'll pack the porta pooper hitch on my nice, truck. Nice, David. Thanks for having my back, dude. Uh, <laughs> I need and that. And then uh, Larry saying, car had some minor scratches on the back glass. What's the best way to remove those? <sighs> probably not at all. Good luck. You could try. Glass, so glass nowadays is safety glass, and it doesn't really like being polished. Um, it'll be polished, but it won't be corrected. So you can't really get scratches out of it. Um, you can lessen them a little bit, but you're never going to get them out. Back in the old days when there was actual glass, you could actually compound. You could actually polish it. You could sand it. You could do all kinds of stuff. But new glass, once it's scratched, it's pretty scratched. So... David Zervani uh, says, um, Jack, sometimes arrogance is not ir- arrogance. It is truth. Mm-hmm. And the, the at doesn't always work on mobile. Just uh, okay. That's that maybe that's sense. why. Because I'm only ever doing it on mobile. Yep, so. same. Yeah. Yep. Ryan says, is the OptiCote no rinse, the no rinse that Anthony teased with at the end of a live a month ago? Ding, yeah. ding, ding, <laughs> ding, 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 ding. You, you figured it out. You got it. You figured it out. <laughs> I was honestly surprised people didn't figure it out sooner, considering it was actually on the website yeah. several days before TRC might even started. Mm-hmm. And Call I was that like, a soft I was like, launch. when are people going to start figuring this out? Yeah. But just, just let it float. You guys are pretty smart. Hans yeah. Closen says, peanut puffs are the great, are great. I eat those every yeah, now Yeah, they're and probably then. the same brand that you eat. They're the brand that Lar- uh, Lars <clears throat> brought us from Germany. So uh, and then... We're back to what? Yeah, that's weird. It looks like an it's overlap like of previously yeah. seen comments. Grand says yurt. Follow and then Franco. Franco says, Joey, just get her a Bronco 2. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Bronco 2 is uh, probably still very cheap these days. Yeah. yeah. And then he says, I spent $27 Jack in the Box drive through last night on two meals. Insanity. Oh, no, Absolute. dude, dude you know, fast yeah. food's also fast food, free. Yeah. It's insane yeah. right Speaking now. Speaking of No, I went to go get ice cream up. last night. Yeah. I walked into Albertsons and I thought, oh, maybe just get a. Ben and Jerry's because they're like five bucks, right? Yeah. No, seven dollars, six yeah. ninety nine. And then I was like, well, screw that! I'll go get like a gallon of ice cream then, or a half gallon. <laughs> yeah. And I walk over, they're all seven dollars. I've seen like a meme yeah. going around too for the people who are you know very serious about Taco Bell and stuff, where they like have this cravings box that used to be like five bucks and now it's twelve. Yeah. Yeah. No, it's yeah. ridiculous. <laughs> I don't like how things are getting expensive. Back no. in my day, it was cheap. Uh, Franco says, "Sad Max Furry Road." Sad Max Furry Road. God. <laughs> That's pretty good. Oh man. That's pretty good. All right, on to. Oh, there's Don B. We missed his what? quote there. Is there. Did we? Uh, hey, TRC team, is it possible to convert my unused IK Foam Pro 2 oh. to an IK Multi Pro 2? 
is it great or is it easy as swapping the nozzle back the nozzle heads and then okay to use bead maker in the multi thanks have a great day um yes and no <clears throat> i'm trying to actually the I so he wants pro to convert too. a from pro 2 to a with a multi pro to a multi pro 2 is it as easy as swapping just the nozzle head on the front no because there's a air capture in the back well, it's in, um, on the inner side. In, so in that, the inside. So the, that tip, that's... The so second for, straw. So, for example, on that tip or on the straw inside, the feeder straw, right? That feeder straw on the multi is actually... Gray, orange, in, or green. That goes into... It goes straight into the top of the head of the multi, whereas on the foamer, it goes from straw or, or hose to multicolored tip and then into the head. I don't believe that the straw will be able to fit directly into the head of that of the, the yeah. sprayer without having the attachment on there because I can't remember if that diameter is the same or not. So if you have them um, back to back, they look different when you have them side by side. Yeah, because you just don't want it aerating the straight liquid you're trying to spray. So you could try to finagle it a little bit, but you might be able to get close to it. But I don't think it'd be the full. Multi it's not going to be as good. Well, Tyler Graf says, uh, oh. Rocked a three hundred dollars oh steak God. once, just the steak on a plate. So Holy sushi smokes. places and wow. steakhouses are pretty much the only spots you're going to go to that are going to do these insane. That's prices. crazy, man. It's always that's a steakhouse. A, I or a sushi can't even joint. imagine. Like no, I not I can't imagine not spending that because I can. <laughs> I'm saying I can't imagine how good that steak would taste. <laughs> Probably be crazy. I know going mm. to Vegas, I've seen some pretty crazy dinners. Would you guys ever do the Salt Bay steaks where they you know, he cuts it up and feeds it to you? Oh, I'd be okay with that. I feel like, like that's a I, bit I, overrated. I wouldn't mind it. I would be okay with somebody feeding steak to me. Me too. Guy or girl. I don't care. Yeah. Like grapes. Mm, no, just, just, just meat. <laughs> yeah, meat's okay. I like the idea of meat being fed. Glenn to saying, what's okay. the most you've ever charged for a detail so that you could then have someone feed steak to you? And how long did it take? <laughs> uh, so, um, gosh, I did a, I did a friend's car he got it back from the body shop. I had to go through it all and recode it and everything. And I think I charged him two grand. Wow. Well, That's about the most that I've ever charged for myself. Yeah. Um, my business, the biggest bill we ever did was about twenty eight hundred, twenty nine hundred dollars yeah, back solid. then. That was 10 years ago. Was that for a so coding job? Or? That was a coding job on a new Escalade off the lot. Okay. Like right off the lot. So it was pretty rough. Mm. Um, we had to do some PDR on it. We had to uh, do a lot of polishing. Dealer installed scratches. Uh, yeah, well, it sat on the lot. The guy normally would order oh. stuff, and this was the first car he bought off the lot, and he got it. And he was like sick when he no. saw it because <laughs> he kept his stuff really nice. So he mm. brought it in, and had us go through the whole thing. Makes sense. So, all right, Anthony. Oh yeah, sorry, you should go. What's most of our charge rate? Yeah, detail? yeah. I don't know. <laughs> Couple thousand. Yeah, I mean. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Because that was a very thorough job. Yeah. Very. But thorough. I mean, then some other ones were like thousand, twelve hundred, things like that. But like, I don't know, it just depends because not all the cars need it. Not all the cars need it. Yeah. Not all the cars need it. Or it's like it's better than I thought it was going to be. And I go, I like the person usually. So like, I, I go into it with like a heavy like I'm going to charge them like twelve, fourteen hundred dollars <throat> for me to do this. And then I go, hmm, wasn't that bad. I go, eight hundred bucks. Yeah. I'm not trying to undersell myself. Right. It's just sometimes it's like that. Re I really didn't, you know, I didn't really put in that much work to mm -hmm. do it. Yeah. And I just, I'm just honest about it sometimes. There's also the fact that you're generally not doing nearly as many jobs as like a lot of our audience are and yeah. stuff. So in, in your case, you're being very selective about it. So the few jobs you do take on, if somebody else were doing a lot more, slightly, I won't call lower end, but just less expensive jobs maybe like three or four of those versus one in the same time period. Yeah. That kind of makes sense where it adds yeah. up. Ron says, I've spent 200 on a dinner out with a nice bottle of wine. The wine will do it too. Dave Cervantes says, there's no ju judgment on any of these prices, gentlemen. Right. Uh, Han says, 007 <laughs> Dane. <laughs> oh, boy. Alex says, <clears throat> Puka Shells proved, the restaurant, proved to restaurant staff that Dane was a solid yes, tipper. Yes, yes, he You can count on it. Uh, Larry Singleton it. says, I took my teen daughter out <laughs> to celebrate paying off all my debt a few years ago and spent $280 at a fancy steakhouse. So you started yeah. some new debt. Great. There you go. Put that on the credit card. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no, good work, right Larry. Uh, Joey saying, had a dinner 
at Club 33 in Disneyland, which was well over fifteen hundred dollars oh. with all the wine we drank. Party of eight. Now, we as oh. a company, we've gone to some dinners that have been pretty crazy. The fact that we once spent a couple grand at, few grand, multiple grand at Top Golf for a company SEMA party. That was literally uh, for a party with like but, dozens of no, people. But I we've had know. we've had some dinners where we've been pretty stoked. We were talking about the Abbey that we went to in Virginia Beach or in Virginia well, in no, Norfolk. I mean, that was just, the three I mean, of us. Just, I mean, let's just be That was only here. under 100 bucks. Lake Country. Your friends were at Lake Country. Did you go out to dinner with them? And that was a pretty crazy dinner. Yeah, I mean, was, that was probably one of the nicest dinners I've ever been to. Um, never but, seen anything yeah, like that. Yeah, but we've had some... We've, me, me, us yeah. three have even had some just... You know, on our adventures, have had some really good dinners that were surprisingly good. Yeah, that were well, the Abbey was that may great, have, yeah. that may have added up in cost, but it was just kind of when a, when in Rome type of thing. Mm-hmm. But uh, we funny because we went to that downtown Abbey, and I that's where the story of the seafood Fantasia happened. Yeah, and I we ordered were telling this Jeff on the phone. It was the Monk's called Abbey in. Was Norfolk. it Virginia? Yeah, it was Norfolk, yeah. Virginia. I ordered the seafood Fantasia, and Jeff was wanting to call everybody. How's everything going? What would you guys all order? And then everybody goes, well, Anthony ordered the seafood Fantasia. And, he goes, just Jeff, and Jeff goes expensive. like, That's how much more was than it? Your, yeah. <laughs> how much was premium. that that meal? I don't know. It was like 40 bucks. $40? <laughs> Why did you spend $40? What Jeff didn't know is that we all got bread pudding we after did. that. We told him. We, we got like two more drinks. Oh, and I was so like, good. Well, you don't need to know all of it, but um, <laughs> it was all good. Just Water under a bridge. Oh. Franco says American Psycho Dane. Uh, <laughs> the time heals all wounds. Brionicle saying uh, Sexy Dane looks like he's from Beverly Hills 90210. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> no. Sexy Great Dane Brian. says uh, Brian Eddie Cowell. says everyone well, have a good night. I got to go manage there. people. Thanks, Eddie. We appreciate. <laughs> have a good uh, night, Eddie. And then... Uh, <laughs> Set in a heart, and then Franco <laughs> sent in a piece, and then nice. uh, the one who shall remain says, back of the water spots on my glass, using Clarity Cream, what towel? 365, Wolfpack, Eagle 350, what else? 365, man. All right. Uh, we'll work just fine. Ron says, adios. Uh, my guy Kirby says, yes, sticky buttons from the same company. Oh, mm. s- that's, there you go. Stain, so, Kirby, sticky you're switch aware fix. of what I'm talking about. Yeah. yeah. Then uh, razors, razors, how to prep surface before paste wax. I use a rinse swash. Can I just use IPA as a drying aid and then start to wax? Yeah, but you can just dry the car and then use IPA and then mm-hmm. wax it. Uh, forced induction saying, good afternoon, guys. What's up, man? How you doing, Kevin? Hey, hey. And then uh, Don says, uh, we already did yep, that we one. we did that one. Then uh, David says, barbecue is just delivered. thousand percent worth it. Nice. <laughs> nice. And then Ron saying, hey to Kevin. Uh, everybody saying hello and goodbye. And then Paul Allen Hey, what country would you like to visit and why? Mm, Paul Allen, that's a great question. Place we haven't been yet. Let's see Paul Allen's card, right? Um, um, hmm. Let's see. Uh, I'd like to. I'd like to visit. Um, I re- I still really want to go to Norway. Yes, I and really I have been to, to Ireland. Norway. Yeah, we got close. We just didn't get all the way to Ireland. Man, so I stopped think... in Scotland. Gosh, like part of me really wants to go to Japan, but I don't like the idea yes. of how far away it is. It freaks I'm fine me out. with that. I totally part of me also to wants go to go to down to you know, the deep south of Australia and go see what that's about. Right? Mainly I'm more scared the, of the animals there. Yeah, <laughs> I, I, I go. That's also really far away. I'm not about and that huntsman spider. I don't know. Maybe I want to make it easy on myself. Maybe I've always just wanted to go to Canada. <laughs> You've never been to Canada. Never been to Canada. Also, never been to Mexico. I I've literally went to, there every year as a kid. I only went to oh, Vancouver. Dude. Yeah, never just across the border. It was a two-hour ferry ride north, and boom, you're in Victoria. Yeah, no, I would love to go to Canada. I'd like to go experience go. their culture yeah. too, yeah. right? I really want to get to know. We'll move up there, you know, the the <laughs> Canadian the lifestyle, indigenous Canadian people. But I just want to oh. go up there, and I want to be Enjoy able to have it. some fun. Yeah, and I want to go uh, to have a good time, eh? Yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah sure, bud. Uh, Long Island Detail <laughs> Supply saying East K- East Coast Adventure Cheesecake Factory dinners. Looking forward to that. Mm. I hope so. Mm. How's the, che- how, how's the cheesecake? Yeah, it's a perfect combination. I'll for see that. you guys. That's where that line happened was that East Coast Adventure was, how's the cheesecake here? <laughs> Joey Valensky says, true. party time, Cabo, let's go. Well, Joey, well, let's Darren, go, man. Oh. Darren says, as this closes to an end, thank you once again for great content week in, week out. Everybody's Aww. watching the live or catching up. Like, share, subscribe. Give these guys the love they deserve. Thanks, buddy. Joey saying, party time in Cabo, let's go. <laughs> David says, thanks for the live stream. See you Tuesday, then Saturday. 
Yeah. Young Static saying, wow, I just uh, sprayed a mislabeled bottle of iron remover on my interior carpets and plastics. Oh, I bet no. that's, that's no. the worst. Great. Yep. <laughs> Cars uh, smell like Kirby it now. says, Anthony, put a trip to the Canadian Rockies. Yeah. Ooh, yeah. I mean, we got our Rockies, but Canadian Rockies. Pedro are says, better. Dane looks yeah. like he was the spokesman for Men's Warehouse. <laughs> You're going to like the way you And look. Paul says, uh, exquisite choices. I would like to visit Argentina. Ooh, Ooh that'd very be nice. nice. I like that one, Paul. And then uh, saying Kirby saying goodbye and have a great time with family and friends. Thank Thanks, you, Kirby. Kirby. We appreciate you tuning in every week. <sighs> All right. Dan, let's well, just close this out. No, this has been great, guys. Thank you so much for joining us as you do every Thursday. We appreciate you and all the new folks here. Thank you for joining us. And don't be afraid to pop in on future lives. You know, it's a thing we do every single week. Except for next week, because we're going to be gone. Although Levi, I'll be here. You're you guys be here. can come hang out. You want to do a Q&A? Do we can do a Q&A, Q&A with me. I'll make a thumbnail time. for you so you got it while we're gone. There you go. All right. So we got that covered. Anyway, <laughs> Joey says visit he wants to visit Modesto. Modesto. <laughs> Anthony can tell you all about Modesto. So, uh, don't, yeah. Don't On go. that note, please click like before you leave today if you haven't done so already. Make sure you're subscribed yeah. to the Rag Company podcast YouTube channel as well as the main Rag Company YouTube channel. And we will catch up with you next week on the podcast right here on this channel, which is why you should be subscribed. All right, guys, take care. We'll see you later. Have a great weekend. See ya.